y'all. Good morning. All right, I'm out. I'm tired. <laughs> that took it all out of me just now. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't know where Curtis is. I haven't heard from Curtis. And, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's been a long weekend. That's all I know. And my tape coming off my doggone camera. But good morning, y'all. How y'all doing this morning? How y'all weekend go? Uh, let's see. Let me start out by shouting out who all chatted so far. Uh, I see StreamYard. Oh, that's not a person. That's a duck. Martin's UK International. Good morning, Hogleg and Melissa. Well, good morning right back to you, Martin. We're glad to have you in here this morning. Skip Jackson in Outdoors. Welcome in. Good morning. And Dave Bosworth. Good morning. Yes, we're glad to have you in here too, Dave. There's the beautiful Melissa. Welcome in, Melissa. There's good old Dale Hayslip. Good morning, my friend. There's Pontoon Jody. Say good morning, everyone. Be back in a bit. Do hellos and getting ready for it. Okay, Jody, you get ready for work. We'll carry on the show while you listening. Ah. Skip that. Oh, man. Misplaced country girl fishing. Good morning. How you doing? Oh man. <clears throat> There's Steve Ransom. Welcome in, Steve Ransom. Good morning. Wall bash Nate. Welcome in. Good morning. Okay. Do he sleep? I done get to the bottom. So if y'all if I miss y'all, y'all say. Please, fool, call me out. Okay. Yes, type the word hog in. So now about will drop your link. There you go, Melissa. And also type weather and your location. And not about to be happy to drop your weather for your location. Good morning, three nights, Donald. Yep, wall bash, Nate. Why you not put your location? <laughs> oh, man. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I, I have a, a, I have an announcement to make a little bit later on. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Mm, let's see. There's no cranking Yankees, a surfer. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Let me go ahead and clear all them. All right. Oh. My battery's almost dead. No, it ain't. All right. <clears throat> but anyway, I have an announcement to make a little bit later on. Uh, that will be as shocking to some of y'all. Okay, Melissa, I'll pin the doggone link. There you go. There's the link. All right. There you go. I got to fix that dog on camera because it's that black tape keeps on creeping down and. Yeah. 
Okay, let me fix it real, real quick. I'll just keep on talking. Y'all can keep on chatting. Because all I'm going to have to do is straighten it up. Pull it back like that. And that should be. Let me see. Put another piece of tape on. How about that? Should have had all this fixed before I started the show. I didn't realize it was sliding down like that. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all see how unprofessional I am? I use black tape on everything. Yeah. Okay. If I can get the doggone stuff to come off. Wow. Man. It's on the tight. Yeah. It come off that time. Yeah, if anybody wants to come up, just click that link that's pinned to the top of the chat and come on up. And, uh, no, that ought to hold it. That ought to keep it from sliding down. Let's put this back up there. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, good morning, Catfish Dave fan. <laughs> hey, y'all want to guess who Catfish Dave fan is? Oh, good morning, Gabriel. Welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. Can y'all hear me okay? Oh, yeah. We can hear you perfect. Oh. I didn't because I'm sicker than bad cough through the achy body. He's too worried, a little sleep compressed, compromised immune system. Uh, yeah. She is very sick, y'all. And y'all know that Ace has been having cancer for, well, he ain't no telling how long he's been. But he has been, I have had a whole dog out there for that little dog. For a week, and he's still with us. Uh, he's fighting. But good morning, Sandy Toes. Welcome in. Good morning, Small Water Charters. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Skywalker. Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> okay. If I'm sorry if I miss some of y'all's chatting. But, just repeat it if y'all don't mind. Good morning, Mississippi Life with Stephen Corley. Welcome in. Here's some small water, said Gabe. <laughs> well, what you been up to, Gabe? Working like a dog. Working like a Georgia bulldog. Bulldog. Well, you've been working hard then. Man, let me tell you. <laughs> Whew. Them Georgia Bulldogs work hard. <laughs> How was your Easter, Huggy? Oh, it was wonderful, man. As as good as it could be anyway with a with a sick dog, you know. We just trying to spend as much time as we can with the little dog and Melissa can't not he will not let Melissa get out of his sight. He follows her. I mean the poor little boy, he's just Anyway, that's enough about it, dog. Okay. You can talk about him. It's okay to talk about that, that little rascal. I mean, he's pulling through, you know. Yeah. He, look, Gabe. We as much, you know, he had a really, really bad life. I mean, uh, night the other night. And welcome in. And I didn't think that the guy was going to, the little man was going to make it through the night that's how bad he looked i mean he so i went out the next morning and i dug a hole and so the next night he did good that night that day 
So the next night, he looked the same way. The next day, we as much went to, all the way across town to take him to the vet. And we was going to do that deal. And when we walked into the vet, uh, we asked her opinion. And she said, uh, well, I look for three things. Is he eating? Is he drinking? And is he aware? And he was all three. And we couldn't do it. I don't blame you. I think you guys made the right decision there. I mean, he might have another year in him. I mean, who knows, man? Yeah. And he made it all the way through. I mean, of course, it's been rough on him. Uh, he's really weak right now. He's eating a little. He's drinking a little. And he is aware. So, we couldn't. We, we just couldn't do it. I couldn't uh, do it either. I don't blame you. I can. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that's how our weekend went, anyway. Oh, did y'all hear? I want to. Uh, let me see. Oh, I got your picture, Jody. Uh, where did he go? Look at here. I want something at least. Hello, this place, country girl. How are you doing? Uh, let me see. I, I want something anyway. If it's not but a virtual. Looky there. I want brook trout virtual fishing. Oh, uh -huh, look at that. Yeah, and I also won the big fish. Yep, that's an eight point fifty four pound brook trout. That's pretty doggone big. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of that, man. For a brook trout, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a monster. Yeah, I'm proud of this. If it, even if it is virtual. But anyway. Congratulations, man. I'm glad you're having fun playing that. Yeah. Got to have uh, something to do anyway. Yeah. To change yeah. the subject, I'd like to say uh, congratulations, <clears throat> Pontoon Jody. I watched your show the other night. Saw so you catch a big one. Oh, yeah. I saw pictures. I didn't see the show, but I saw the pictures. Good job, Jody. Yep, I got them right here. She said, good old catfish Dave liked those photos, personally. Let's see. I'm going to share them with y'all right here. Look at that, look at that. Mm -hmm. Goodness. Let's see if I can make it bigger. Yeah. Look at that. And she Find doesn't that. have 10 pound thumbs in that picture, neither. <laughs> Look at that smile. Look at that smile, yep. Uh, she's trying to feed him her, her arm. Looks like she's wrangling it there. Uh, yeah, look at all them. And backlashed her reel in the process. No, she didn't. I don't know mm -hmm. if it was that specific fish, but she caught one. It was, what, 53 and a half, roughly, and backlashed her reel. Dave, Dale Hayslip says Photoshop. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, I got my spooks in Friday. Uh, let's see. I'm going to stop sharing. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, 
make me big screen. I got a package in the mail Friday, and it contained two of these stickers again. Email Donald Knight, please. And I got one. Those are real turkey feathers. And then I got two. Those are real turkey feathers. Look at that. Yep, he, he does them, and he lays the turkey feathers down, and then he clear coats over the top of the turkey feathers. And I'm not going to use these two. I'm going to put them up there on the wall. And there you go. But I'm not going to use them to fish with. I'm going to put them on the wall and display them. Because they're handmade. Oh, right. They're made out of turkey feathers? Yeah. The, these stripes down go down it? Yeah. Those are real really turkey cool. feathers. Wow. Yeah. He, see, this one's got a little bit more. That's cool, dude. Yeah. I thought it was. I didn't know he made them. Oh man, look at that. The That's gills are made of, of oh, turkey feathers. Check that out. If I had a better camera, I, I, I would get a better shot, but you could actually see the feathers. You did a good job, uh, Don. Thank you. Yeah, those look like real gills. I'm, I'm sure underwater. It, yeah. Yeah, it does. And look at this one. This one, uh, it's got a, I don't know if you can see that with my camera, but see that feather coming down there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good job, Don. Yeah. Oh, man. And the more I look at it, the more I see the detail. Turkey feather going right around there, all the way through on that side. Good morning, Francis. Yeah, good morning, Francis. I hope you... Okay. All right. Thank you, Don. Yes, I got them. Uh, and there's been so much going on around here. I, let me go back up. Let me see. Good morning, everyone. And uh, it's courtesy. I don't know if Curtis is sick or not. I think he's just tired of doing the show. He didn't. He hasn't even reached out to you, huh? No. Me and Curtis don't even uh, communicate when we, when we leave here, unless we see some uh, uh, each other in the chat somewhere. We don't communicate. Uh, uh -huh. Well, I did something this past weekend I had never done before. Just a oh, yeah. I got corn planted on Good Friday. Wow. Oh, that's cool, dude. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I had eight 55 foot rows of G9. Hey, 55 foot rows. Me. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of corn. Yeah, it is. Rattle trap in the hospital? Wow. Good morning, Rustic. There's Rustic. What's up, my dude? Mm. 
And uh, this coming weekend, I'm going to get my plow hooked back up and turn over my summer garden for all my peas and butter beans, green beans, okra, and all that stuff. <laughs> Have it ready for the first weekend of May. <clears throat> How big a garden you gonna have? Um, <laughs> that one's gonna be about fifty-five feet by maybe eighty. Okay, thank you for coming in, Don. Take it easy out there. Don't work too hard, man. Fifty-five by eighty. Yeah, roughly. Oh man, man. And well, see, it's, it's my home, which is only me and mother. <laughs> but uh, but if, if things continue to go before the end of the year, I hope there's going to be a third. Um, but then there's my nephew with his wife and three <laughs> girls, and my niece and her two boys. Plus, I'll be carrying some over to my son. So when you really get down to the nitty gritty, it's not that I'm just growing all of this for two people. Yeah. Good morning, fishing with squirrel. Welcome in. Good morning, morning squirrel. Uh, Small water says I haven't heard from Doc in months. Must be in there, man. You know, I, I ain't got. I ain't gonna. You know. Me and Curtis has an understanding, you know, that I told him that if he don't want to do this no more, just I'm not going to let him go. No, you know, I, like I told KP, the door's always open, but I ain't going to push it out. So, and KP, you uh, stuck around as long as you can. But I'm going to tell you now, uh, and, and I think y'all can tell that this show hasn't been the same without KP. Uh, well, KP. I didn't want to say nothing, but yeah. Was a personality. Whatever. You know, everybody mm -hmm. loved him. He was enjoyable. Yep. But, uh, and it's not going to be the same without him. It's not going to say it's going to be better. I'm not saying worse, but it can't be the same if you have a different co host. Yeah. He had. Um, and no, there, there's nothing wrong with having Curtis as my co-host. I mean, KP really liked him. I liked him, but, you know. But, yeah, I guess Curtis uh, just don't want to do the show no more. So, it, this is his way of, of telling me, you know. So, yeah. And I don't hold it against him. But, He's okay though, right? People, someone's heard from him. Well, the last time I was up here, he said that uh, he was okay. I could call him or text him. Well, I did text him, but he didn't text back. So, uh, <laughs> welcome in, everything, guy. So, you know, I just took that as, you know, he didn't want to do it no more. Well, it's, not, it's yeah. a big shoes to fill with, with, uh, with KP, you know. There's oh, a, yeah. yeah, there's a, there's a big difference. When uh, you go from gardening with a walk behind tiller to with a tractor, a learning curve. <laughs> there is a learning curve with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you got to learn how to stop. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Another thing that I learned was that I got the R14 powers on so it wouldn't tear the yard up as bad when I'm doing cleanup and what have you, but right. R14 tires are significantly wider than agricultural tires. So yeah. I put in a garden with at three foot spacings. I had to go up to four foot spacing. Yeah. Well, it, gave, it gives you more room to work the garden anyway. You know, we're getting old. You need a lot of room. You stumble around. So if you fall, <laughs> you won't fall on your plants. There you go. 
Oh, man. Well, good morning, Rustic. What's going on? Good morning, Rustic. Morning, guys. Morning, and I, did make a video. I did make a video, but the wind was blowing so bad. I just deleted it. <laughs> it was yeah. blowing right into the mic. So. The wind's been blowing really rough every day so far down here. Yeah. Um, and it's been nice out, out, but the wind's been blowing, blowing. Yeah, it's been <laughs> nice. Open the windows and have your house air out good. Dale, I need to grab the pollen down here is kicking up. And and I believe Melissa got the pollinated. <laughs> and I and she got pollinated a little too much. You know, having another baby? I'm gonna yeah, say I that doesn't sound hey, right, Hoggy. But I'm getting pollinated too. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So much pollinating going on in the in the hog leg household, Melissa. What is that? What is that? That's the nut for the host plate on the lawnmower. I had to get three of them. I stripped one plumb off. We had to take the deck plumb out and grind the edges down, and the cold chisel would break it off. And I went and got three of these dudes, and these suckers were 20 bucks, the price of one blade. Uh -huh. My yeah. more takes two blades, so three nuts, was that was 20 bucks, man. I'm like, good Lord. Are they hardened? No, they're not yeah. hard. Uh, <laughs> these things right here you, were so soft that when I put that millimeter socket on there, uh, it barely rounded this one. It barely rounded the other one. Then the other one, it just said... Right off. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we got so many nut and bolt around here. <laughs> and, and we got Morton paid 95 cents for those. Well, if it, I started to go get me a washer, I got washers, but I started to go buy three locking nuts and put on there. I was like, that go. What size are those? Uh, I think these here are, uh, let's see, one of them's got it on here. They're four or five eight flange. Five eight flange. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about about him. Well, it's bigger uh, than a half inch. Yeah, we're we and they were stainless. And I, I got it. Did you go to your uh, lawnmower store or just a hardware store? Yeah, went to the lawnmower place. The hardware store didn't have them because oh, there you go. That, that's I, why you so they didn't have them. And uh, welcome in. We, we took the deck out. We took so the deck out. We you, you got a few screws loose. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> on that dude, and man, we was pushing down on it, and it just rounded that nut even worse. I couldn't believe how oh, soft wow. it was. Well, I've been doing camping spring, <coughs> camping videos this spring and summer and fall. Fishing work. Oh wow! Man. I'd like to. I'd like to watch see that. Hey, that's I'd like to see that. Everything got, everything got good morning. Good morning, Steve Ransom. Hey, yeah, I've always got a few screws loose. Did y'all see my videos? Uh, I think I. I think I, I, mean, I can't remember if I welcomed you in or not, Steve Ransom. But if I didn't, good morning. Stay in three. Six upon a stone. Or was that stay in three that said that? That stay in three said that, wasn't it? We got a few of Oh, <laughs> Yes, I make videos, John. <laughs> John. Is that what you call them? <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I call them. Mine don't even qualify for videos. <laughs> John don't make videos. He makes uh, movie clips. <laughs> It's amazing, all. I like the way he does them. 
Bartó. Stephen Lance, he does have some emotion in there. Well, if you get enough coffee, you're full of a lot of stuff. Oh, did you catch any fish last night? Mr. Excitement. <laughs> oh, you have a good day, Stan. We'll get you some rest. Let me see if this works. Wow. Yeah, I was supposed to get some bad I lost my microphone there for a minute. <laughs> no. And unplug it and plug it back in. Talking about videos. Did y'all see the fishing fair? All right, Steve Ranch. We sure will. Oh, man. Pixelated. Same here, Squirt. I've not been watching a lot of uh, fishing videos lately. Most everything I've been watching has been agricultural and gardening related. Right. Trying to learn how to. Welcome in, still in you. Trying to learn how to gardening, right? You need being. Certain things I just haven't done, you know. A lot of tractor related stuff. But Corn specifically and right. corn and eggs. But boy, I've got uh, some cabbage coming along good, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, eggplants, tomatoes. Uh, how corny. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, that was corny. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make some corny videos this summer. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and come back in see if I can't clear this up some. Eggplant, you got eggplants, small water ones enough. <laughs> Plenty of eggplant. Hey, have y'all ever seen an eggplant? Well, I must have lost hello audio. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Morning, Yak. I used to eat fried eggplant a lot. Oh yeah, I, I love I I like the Asian ones. I don't like the big black beauties, but I like the long. Mm -hmm. That's what I have planted. Yeah. Hey, Gabe, have you ever seen an eggplant? Good morning, Yak. Sure, oh, yeah. welcome in. Huh? Have I ever seen an eggplant? Yes. Yeah. You've had your head further up a chicken's butt than I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oh man! No dad jokes. You gotta love them. My wife, my, that's all my wife does is tell dad jokes, and I sit there and I just shake my head, and she just thinks they're the funniest dang thing. <laughs> <laughs> Asian, uh, misplaced country girl. I'm pretty certain I have watched some of your videos, but I can't say for a fact. But I am gonna go ahead, back and look you up. Yeah, I've seen everybody's videos at one point in time. Yeah. You know why a chicken can't lay half an egg? Why is that, John? <laughs> I don't know if that cleared it up or not. Oh, yeah. It did a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm on Wi-Fi. <laughs> for some reason, if you ain't got good bar signals on your phone to go with it, the picture's a lot fuzzy. Then when I tried to go on a 4G, it just blinks in and out. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out of the book. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Miss Place Country oh, Girl, I love eggplant. Yeah, that's how we were. We grew uh, about eight eggplants. 
And me and Melissa, we, whew, we couldn't eat enough. We started putting them in the freezer. I'll be back in just a second. I might get me another cup of coffee. Hold on. All right. Coffee. I've never eaten. Out of, uh, they're going to page out of hooks and hammocks there, Stephen. Do what? You taking a put a page out of hooks and hammocks there? Oh, hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can't plant well, squash because we don't have no pollinators. <laughs> John, the vegetable eggplant. There you go. <laughs> I've never ate. You never ate eggplant? Nope. Oh, oh man, eggplant parmesan. Fried eggplant. Deep fry them. Yeah, deep fry yeah, it. Some batter. Oh, man. Oh, man. I deep fried squash. I love squash. Oh, I love I squash any kind of way you can imagine to cook it. We make a little southern meal here at the house where I do, where I take and make fried potatoes, and I cut up squash and put it in it with some uh, white chicken tender meats, the squares, you know, where they cut them down. And then add my seasonings to it with a little onion. Oh, it's good. Yep. Grilled eggplant. I guess I'll have to try it. You cook like this yeah, one. I grilled it. Yeah, yeah you, you can. You can. I suggest getting the little, you know, the not the black beauties. <laughs> Don't do <laughs> the black beauties. <laughs> Get the other ones. Oh man! Yeah, those two things you can always you can you can deep fry anything and you can grill anything. Oh yeah, well, it's more of a yeah. tangerine. Yeah. No, that's a peach. that's a peach. That's a peach. Yeah, it looks like a tangerine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm more of a, never mind. <laughs> well, how you been doing, uh, Skywalker? You been busy? Ain't I'm you? busy, and then I had to get off of social media for a while. Just people I heard you was having some work, running their mouths, and I'm just like, why are you doing this? Like, What's your motive, dude? And like, then I'm just, I'm just, gonna, and then I took my wife's advice, just get off a of damn Facebook for a couple of weeks, and I shouldn't even let that get to me. But I no, let it get to no. me, and I'm like, you know what? Fine, that I'm just not going to be on any more fishing shows for a while. And uh, it, let me ask you this: Was it the fishing community that was bothering you? Some of them, yeah. Some of them, yeah, saying I didn't belong. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a California. I'm, I'm not a Southerner. Um, I make a fool out of myself on the shows, and I'm just like, and they're like, yeah, I got, I got text messages to prove it. These people are saying it about you. I'm like, okay, well. And then my wife's like, why do you even listen to them? I'm like, because I'm yeah, stupid. why, why don't listen, don't. You stupid. belong, hey, you belong in this fishing community as much as they do because you fish. You can't help it if you, if you only got doggone uh, channel cats out there. That's all you got. Yeah. You live. Hey, so, he, can't fish a, no, he lives out in California. He catches channel cats and stripers. That's what he's got. Yeah. I catch 20 pound channels. It wasn't, it was more of a vibe of like, I don't belong in this community because I'm not a. Bottom line is probably because I'm not a Southerner. And I took that as I am at heart, you know. That's how I was raised. And That's right. Don't get me from Ohio. Jimmy you know I mean? Jagger, good morning. Welcome in. Anything possible, good morning. Jimmy G. Up, Jimmy? People from Virginia aren't Southerners. Uh, I think they are, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Anything says uh, Gabe, John tells me this daily. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, about it. And I didn't let the community. I'm still here. 
John Welcome in, Uncle kept Lou. sending me uh, hey, there's Uncle Lou. What's up, buddy? What's wrong with Doug on Channel Catch? That's right. Not what? One. Uncle Lou, That's good morning. Right. It wasn't even that. It was just it was, you know. It just, oh, why, why, would you, why would you tell me that and show me that? Like, because I know you're not trying to be my friend by doing this. It's just like you're just trying to stir up S H I T and you know. What don't you got something better to do? Because I do. I, yeah. I don't got you know. Right. And I ain't trying to throw you know. If I don't belong in here, then then I don't belong with the community. But well, you belong in here. You know. As much as anybody else. Hey, I moved from Bakersfield, California, here when I was twelve years old. There you go. James from Cool Cats Fishing is from California. What the world? Yeah, I'm over but it. I'm well over it now. But at the time, I was just like, man, another troll. But then they're like, no, I got I got screenshots of text messages, people saying this behind your back. And I'm like, hey, don't don't, don't, hold, don't keep it in. Just blow up like I did. I was told I didn't belong here. Nobody in the community liked me. They wanted me to go away. But look, I'm still running around. I'm still aggravated. Rustic, people. you look like... The, the, the poster boy for the catfish community. Look at you with that background, with that hat. Oh, man. You, you definitely belong, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Don't a bad thing over there. I can't go catfishing right now because I can't throw out that big rod. <laughs> that's right. you get one of them little ones, them little kitty rods for now. Well, I've been going skipjack fishing. I can handle that. Oh, there you go. And that's fun. When you get on a skipjack bite, that is fun. Go on. For April, a uh, skipjack tournament, they're going to have a hard time catching skipjack. <laughs> you know what the, uh, the straw that broke the camel's back for me, though, was John would not stop sending me pictures of himself with the shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> those who stir the pot will lick the spoon. That's right, Uncle Lou. Oh, that's a good saying. I like that one, Uncle Lou. I'm gonna steal that one actually. Uncle Lou's a national treasure. Oh, yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> You paid for them. You're getting them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's your haircut. You got to get a mullet. <laughs> well, my, you know, my wife always said, well, you used to always say, if you don't offend at least one person a day, you're not doing your job. You used to say that all the time. I said, well, that's yeah. true. That's yeah. right. That's right. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah, whatever people think, man. Yeah, that's right. A little stealing you. Oh my gosh, John. No, oh my God. You, no. That's right, Melissa. They're just unha very unhappy in their own lives. Yeah, it's just like, what's the point of what? What is your? What do you have to gain? By throwing people under the bus, even if they did say negative things about me behind my back, like what are you getting out of it? That's right, exactly. And, and the person that's telling you that's probably agreeing with them or having the conversation with them. Good morning, Shirley T. There she is. Welcome in. Really? I know I got to. Uh, I was gonna go out with a possum Friday night and try to get on Jody's channels with with possum just go fishing and uh but the temps are supposed to be cold We're supposed to be down in the 30s at night <laughs> oh yeah. no heck no well, mr oh, hazel to answer that i'm gonna be uh the weather's getting really warm here now so we're gonna get 80 degrees tomorrow unfortunately i have three sports going on but i'd say by mid-april i'll be doing live live by the lake again so stay tuned I talked with Pork Chop Saturday. Did you? Oh, did you? How's he doing? He's wow. doing fine. Um, he's 
still working on his boat. Every time he gets one thing fixed, he finds something else. Oh, uh, he's, wow. he's saying it may be midsummer before he gets it all done. Wow. <clears throat> well, uh, did you tell him that uh, we was all asking about him in here doing that? Yeah, he uh, said that. Uh, someone had told him that y'all were asking about him and he was going to have to get in here soon. And he needs to get in here well, so I can call him out. <laughs> well, I've uh, packed all my gear. I'm not unpacking that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I had asked him if he wanted to do a boat challenge, and he called me and he said, well, the you know, problem with the boat challenge is he's still having some issues that you know, went over everything with me that he had had to fix on it. And like I said, it's you know, he gets one thing fixed, and then it's something else, and he gets it fixed, and then it's something else. So there you go. he said midsummer getting it done, and then we'll do a boat challenge. What's that boat stand for? Bust out another thousand. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. What's a boat challenge? What do you guys like? Who's got the most powerful engine, or what is that? Oh no, it's just, it's just a, uh, a challenge fishing from the boat instead of the bank. Good morning, oh, seven ten. Okay. Welcome in. Cheers. Or we, <clears throat> or we could meet up, and hook the boats up behind each other, and, and take it off. Cool. <laughs> ah, to see who cool. still has the transom. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Still in here, that's know. funny. That's exactly right. That's how she is right there. Let's see if it's on her mind. This live fishing league is going to make it hard for people to fish Friday nights. I ain't going to say nothing, Jody. Do what? Uh, Jody said this live fishing league is going to make it hard for people to fish on Friday nights. And I said, no, I told her, I to say nothing. No, a lot of people won't watch that. Jody get a lot of people in hers. Yeah, and as the weather gets better, all your all fishing channels are just going to, the views are just going to come back like crazy. It's seasonal if you think about it, you know. Only the crazy ones like Jody and them fishing 20 degree weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then during the summer, you get the mayflies. Okay. I'd rather deal with mayflies, mayflies. Than, than cold. Mayflies don't make my heart hurt. The cold weather does. Yep. You get one of them chairs that my mother in law got me that has the screens over them. Oh hey, yeah! Guys, we'll just bounce right off them suckers. Oh, man. They won't bother you. Hey, he's got an electrical charge to his. He's sitting there getting a night show. <laughs> oh, hush, small water. Everybody don't live in Florida. <laughs> yeah, you have year-round summer down there. I tell you, oh, you know what I got? Speaking of Florida, I watched. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. I watched uh, Roadhouse the remake tonight. It was so oh, bad. I, oh, it I was so bad. I wanted it to be good, and it was just Dalton. Nothing like the original Dalton from Patrick Swayze. Personality, yeah. nothing like him. I mean, no. it was it was it was really bad. It no, was, you know, I've said it's kind of like Miami Vice remake. You know, just, my wife. Told me it was hard to watch that movie because. It was hard to watch the dude from Brokeback Mountain try to pretend he's Patrick Swayze. <laughs> uh, yeah, Patrick Swayze was the man's man. He was the Renaissance man, man. That that man could dance. Believe it or not, he was a great dancer. He was a cowboy. <laughs> he owned his own ranch. He rode horses. He can kick your butt. I mean, that dude was a legend, man. Patrick Swayze. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was a football player, and he blew his knee out. And couldn't yeah, college. he was a man's man. Yeah, did you know, did you know yeah. he smoked four pack of cigarettes a day? Yes, yes, yes. That's, that's what got him. I tell you what, the only good part of that movie that I enjoyed was Conor McGregor. That that was that was about it. That, it was, I haven't seen any of these remakes. That's been good. <laughs> yeah, I, good point, you know. Shirley. That's a very good point. Oh, morning, Denise. 
Yeah, that's that's Jeez, one thing my wife said. She goes, oh. you know, if they were to make a a, a remake of uh, Dirty Dancing, uh, I, th I think they did. Without Patrick Swayze, of course. No, I, yeah, I, I think they did, more. and it flopped. I know they did Footloose too. That flopped. Um, yeah, yeah. My, it's some movies they should never remake because they're classics oh. and they're they're about as good as they're going to get at that moment. You know what I mean? They ain't going to do anything. Sam Elliott too. I mean, it was Sam Elliott and Patrick Swayze. I mean, and and it was they, just hey, Sam Elliott and Patrick Swayze went together like me and KP. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Kelly Lynch, ah, she was Gord, the leading lady, you know, that nurse. Uh, this this nurse, uh, I don't want to sound shallow, but not so hot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't, I guarantee you, we don't act out that uh, scene where she comes running across the room. And <laughs> no, we don't act out that one. I agree. We just stop redoing movies. Just running out yep. of ideas. Yep. And and if all these movie stars and celebrities keep getting busted for sex trafficking, they're not going to be anybody to play these roles anymore. Pretty soon. Well, I mean, good lord, a bunch of pedophiles, anyways. Yep. Picture of yeah. Uh, the water dump is seen from flash dance. <laughs> 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 John, John will be more close to doing that one. <laughs> Good morning, Don Johnson. Welcome in, DJ. Oh, Don Jay. Dog leg would be in the Golden Corral like this in a chair, and then gravy would come over his head instead that, of water. That's right. That, exactly right. Yeah, yeah, I can play the role. Yeah, I game is going to be in a few <laughs> new puppy <perfect> videos. <laughs> oh Lord, yeah, it was uh, they got they puffy got uh, Kevin Hart's done, man. They got him and uh, Jay Z making out with each other. What? Yes. <laughs> Uh, it, it's all coming out every single day now. These guys' careers are going to be, they're done. Oh, they're done. man. What do y'all think about Beyonce singing country? No. I don't like Beyonce. I think she's a Satanist. I am not. I don't like her, period. Nope. I think she's going to sing anything she wants. Oh, well, I, yeah, oh, yeah. But as a person, I don't, I, I don't, I don't mess around with I Satanists. Don't. I just don't. Don't want them in my life. I don't follow them. I don't care for modern country music. Oh. Steve, if it ain't got a steel guitar in it, I don't want to hear it. That's right. Exactly. I don't want to hear it. And you don't hear them anymore with steel, nope. with steel guitar. That's all I ask. Yep. But hey, Sebastian Bach has written a number of songs that have been recorded by country artists. And he is that a I've heard, yeah. as you can get. He's about what? As non-country as you can get. Oh. No, he's she's she's heavy metal, man. Yeah. Yep. Get rolled. Yep. But he's had quite a few songs recorded by country artists. Hey, John, yeah, don't be knocking. He wrote the best one recorded himself. Vince Neil looks like he ate Sebastian Bach. You see how big Vince Neal got? Holy smokes. Oh, wow. Yeah, he swole up. Woo. Yeah. And to be as short as he is, you know, I know. won't take a whole lot. Yeah. <clears throat> so y'all don't like Beyonce's country music. I don't either. I don't like any music show. <laughs> Deal to make more money because uh, what she sings at RB has slowed down for her. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Apparently, and it's they, like 
is on the Super Bowl halftime show now, and they suck. Yep. Uh, what do you mean, Russ? Now that skid mark knows all skid. about Skid Rose. <laughs> what are you implying? No, that, that skid mark's not Skid <laughs> Rose. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all leave my skid marks out there. Question Is there anybody out there that likes the song Joe Lee? In my right. head, no one likes that song. Yeah, Dolly Parton. Yeah, I like my it. wife sings that all the time at karaoke. Yeah, I, like, I like it, though. Still yeah. in you. I love Dolly. Mm. Dolly had a great halftime show, whatever whatever show that was in the playoffs that she did. And she looked great this last NFL season. Do y'all see that? Yeah. Y'all remember that one, right? Hey, if you're not oh, just good enough, you can look good at any age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Station. Oh, man. Jody, quit. Be blessed, Jody, quit. I love Dolly. She is great. Yeah. Everyone says no, she's the sweetest person. That she won't, and I will watch her. Maybe listen. But watch. Ah, Dale Hazley. Ah, Dale. You dirty old dog. Uh, in the day when she started, yeah. She was worth watching, but now she's she's about money and politics. More more of the politics. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh man, I got Buggy all fired up last night. <laughs> About politics, and I brought up, I brought up about what uh, what that guy wearing the diaper sitting in the White House said about Easter Sunday. Oh, what, Did you hear I, about that, Hoggy? No, I didn't hear about that. He said it, instead of Easter Sunday, it's Transgender Awareness Day. No, yep, no, it, it, it'll never be that day to me. Nope, no, I, I'm not making it up. Google it right now. Yes. You see, and he didn't walk it back either. He he went, he double dipped on that. That man oh. needs to get the hell out of the White House fast as he can. I'm, you I'm, know sorry, what? I'm, I'm sorry about my French, but no. You know what else they said That's that they like uh, celebrating Easter? What yep. in the heck? They make it well, happen. They can celebrate that on Monday. Leave Easter alone. You know, it's the Lord's Day. Leave Monday. No they can do that day. The okay. press asked him. He, his statement was, he told. He said, "I did not do that, but it's his signature yeah. on the paper." They it's said that that proves right there that he don't know what the hell he's signing up there. Yeah, exactly. No, I'll never look. No, I won't ever. I won't ever. Look at Easter as transgender day. Easter oh, is oh. something special. Very special. Trump office, he'll get rid of that. Now, on the mm. subject of Beyonce doing country, the Pointer Sisters' first hit song that, was a country song. They were the first black female group to have a top 40 country hit. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. The Pointer Sisters, huh? Mm -hmm. I remember them from the 80s. I don't, I don't have to look that up. Yeah, it was back in the 70s. Um, oh, I okay. uh, thank you, Uncle Lou. She does employ a lot of people. Yeah. I spent years working in my garden. <clears throat> This ain't Texas. This is cool. it's stuck in my head. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, no. You know, yeah, that he is. signed it March 31st. Well, I'm glad Easter ain't always on March 31st. Yeah, it changes um, depending on, I guess, the moon, they said, cycle or something like that. I don't know. It's, uh, but that was that was a thumb in the eye to 
the Christ, oh, yeah. in my opinion. You can't tell me nothing different. And that was intentional. It's almost like he's trying to lose. Well, Trump made a statement said it's the most disgusting thing he's done so far. And he's done a lot. And yeah, I have to agree. I mean, and then, but one thing I, I don't agree with Trump on everything. Like, I didn't, I don't like the fact that he's selling Bibles. <coughs> you know what I mean? Making profit off of that. Right. I don't like that. You know, that's not, that's not a good look. And I don't think it's a good thing. But I mean, that's a whole different, you know, than declaring like transgender day on, on the Lord's day. That's, that's apples and oranges, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Kev Vision Krabby. Mr. Flathead himself. Good, Mr. Flathead. Well, you're talking about what he did. In 84, Walter Mondale was going to try to show how liberal he was, and he pardoned a convicted rapist and murderer who there was some type of question about his conviction, so he pardoned the guy. The day he got out of jail, he raped and murdered another woman, and that cost him the election. Well, Whether or Reagan he beat Ronald right. Reagan, I don't know, but that <clears throat> turned everybody against Walter Mondale. I it's agree with Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, let's, let's, let's change the subject, please. Yeah, that's every uh, day. Uncle Lou's right. We don't need to get... We don't need to get fired up. No. No. An old studio with well, not a political channel. No, uh, we just talk about what's on our minds sometimes. Right. Mark said, Mama says Mark's on so honored because he got the new boat with no flat heads. <laughs> is that, is, <laughs> oh, yeah, Jody, is that right? I want to see another video, Mark, of you doing an oil change on that on that new motor. How you doing, Mark? Masterpiece. Wow. Wow. That's all I got to say is wow. Mark's <laughs> going to have to come down and do some crappie fishing down this way. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Hey, Mark, has that warmed up for you in Chicago at all? I, I bet it hasn't. They they probably got some still some snow from last time it snowed. Yeah, probably from last last year. Right? No, I know Jody didn't say that with all the flatheads I caught last year. I think she did. I can you know I can I can send you the text where she said it, Mark. Dang, gone. 37 degrees where Uncle Lou lives. Uncle Lou, too, man. It's like he can't get, he can't catch a break with this weather. Oh, my God. 40 degrees where Mark lives. It's going to be 80 degrees Wow. Yesterday morning, it was in the 60s here. We're getting Florida weather yeah, here today. Yeah, I, I'm showing 69 here. Dang. Oh. No, I didn't. But I can't see anything. Yeah, we're taking it with the blue, Jody. But that's not what Jody's known for. She's known for a lot of things. <laughs> Get here. <laughs> uh, chewing up some rocks with a prop. Oh, that was the opposite way around. Chewing up her props with some rocks. <laughs> uh, Mayflies. Yep. Yeah. I, I, I put yes. one on the hook. See what what happens. Mayflies for bait. You guys should have a Mayflies uh, fish off challenge. We don't get them here, but I'd be down for something like that. 
I took a do with a flat looking head fishing. <laughs> With the storms, it can be very rough day for Ohio. I heard. Yeah, what about that? There yeah. she is, right there. Get hooked on D. Good morning and welcome in. Good morning, D. Good morning, D. Morning, D. Yeah, they supposed to go through here. They curved up north and cut around. Yeah, they supposed to be pretty tough. Hey, look there. There's Gabe's here. Hey, Gabe almost looks like him. Been talking his hair up a little bit. Oh man, that freaked me out. <laughs> look at that. Look at the look on his face. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, why don't you get you a white t shirt and some bibs like that and come up on here one morning? <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Well, you don't want the overalls no more. You're be in trouble now. now. <laughs> What's going <laughs> on, fellas? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, I love what's behind Catfish Gabe back there. You see my name, Mark? What is this? Catfish Dave fa Fam, it should say, because you and him are like married, family married. Oh, wait. <laughs> he offered to take me to the Golden Corral. Yeah, I'm sure he offered to take you everywhere. Probably offered <laughs> to take you to paradise, too. <laughs> wow. Uncle Lucy could be historic outbreak of tornadoes. In Ohio, they're saying that last night. Yeah, I, I saw. Crazy. I saw. What's his name? Uh, uh, Ryan Hall talking about that. It looked nasty. I'm sending good hope or good thoughts and prayers out to the people in Ohio. They're gonna have wow. a rough one, I think, today. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. he said last night. California. Real I don't got to worry about that. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, that tornado. I heard you say y'all had. Uh, Warning, I don't know if you ever had it, but uh, that freaked me out. I said, what? <laughs> Tornado in California? Yeah, actually, it, it never happened, but the warning was there, but it never yeah. happened, which always is the case. I haven't yet to see one. Um, you can always tell when you got Mark good because he goes on. I ain't up. been on in, in a while. Now. I said I was going to come up. Jody, you had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Oh, man. Jody's just getting defensive. She's uh, misdirecting because, you know, her guy, James, is what puts her on all the fish. Yeah, that's better. Oh. There we go. Oh. Yeah, you'd be safe, Dale. There you go. That's my kind yep. of place. That's better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Hey, you left the picture out of the chocolate fountain. Oh, wait. I got to do something here. Hold on. No, they they took the chocolate fountain out of mine. I know you miss it. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> oh man! Why don't you put me on solo screen there for a second, so Miss Jody can see that. Oh, that's Jody. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man! Hi, D. Good morning, dear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what does it say? Catfish and crap. Yeah. Just. All right, Mark. Can I take it down? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you hear you that? That's you the steam. Com that's the steam coming out of Jody's ears right now. Yeah. <laughs> You see what mine said? <laughs> Fanny Toes says Jody looks like you're about tired, to boss. Hurry. Oh, I know how you feel. I've been tired for a while now, too, man. Yeah. Jody, All right, Joe, I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to go get some sleep. All right, Let's Gabe. Get, Thanks get for coming back up here. up here. Of course, man. Thank you. It's Sandy Toes. I know. Jody, Jody like you started it. Boys. Why are you taking all her? I have to agree with Mark this time, y'all. Uh, she did start it. All right, enough <laughs> of that. Let me change my settings back for it. So. Roger. Think, everybody thinks I'm mean. I only like shoot back when I've been shot at. That's all. All right, take mean. care, man. Thanks for coming up here. 
Welcome in, Muskrat. And, yeah. Good morning. You you Man. leaving, uh, Gabe? <clears throat> yeah, I gotta I gotta get some sleep, dude. I just woke up. Uh, so have a good night, bud. And Thank don't you, you worry man. about what anybody says. Mm-hmm. You, you belong in the catfish family community. Right. Whatever you, you want to say to my face, and I'll and I'll dog walk them up and down the whole state of California, or <laughs> you can challenge me to a fish off, and I will catch more fish than you will. So they got a problem. we can handle it either way. There um, you go, man. Lately, out of the five of us here up on screen, ain't none of us fishing. Don't so don't even lie like that. No, I just brought it up. So <laughs> we're we're gonna be 80 degrees starting tomorrow, Mark. So it's time to bust out the rods again, man. You're in California, man. It's always 80 degrees out there. No, it ain't. It's rained nonstop for the last four months. It's always sunny. Shiny rain. Rain and cold and wind. Peace, no by and cold. No Peace, by and rain. Mm-hmm. I, ain't no, I ain't no lunatics like you and Jody out there fishing in frigid temperatures. No way. Well, Gabe's on the pounds and the wind will blow away and the rain will freeze him to death. There you go. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Oh, uh, Sorry, to, sorry about Curtis, Hoggy. We'll come up here and help you out, though. Okay. What happened to Curtis? Yeah, it is. He's MIA. Mm. Yeah. He's MIA. Well, I hope he ain't Definitely. sick or nothing. All right. No, it's just four of us. We are huge, man. Dang gun. Mm-hmm. Don't even Oh God! Well, I'm not even gonna entertain her because don't make me put that icon back up there, Jody. Oh, Gabe is the frosted calendar, right? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to say, John. Every time he talks about going to D land, it sounds kind of perverted. Not who, Jody. <laughs> Those are my thoughts. So what I've been missing, gentlemen, how things been going? I can tell Hogleg's tired. Haven't seen Steven in a while. This is turning into the Rustic show, according to Uncle Lou. Oh, well, no. But it turned into real good. I hadn't done a whole lot of fishing, but gardening is going well. Not no flat is. <laughs> hey, morning, Possum. You're up early. Good morning, Possum. Welcome in. What's I got out, power, Possum. Yeah. Your power out? Oh. I I power out. Power out. <clears throat> so I finally got my truck in the shop today. Got to get a new heater core put in there. And I was going to do it myself until sure. I watched the video. Oh, hey, no, don't put, no. Oh, you do not want to put a heater core in a Dodge. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> it needs a uh, heater core. It's leaking. It let's, let a professional do it, buddy. Well, you know, my, my wife works for a huge dealer group, so we get everything done at cost. So it's still going to cost a lot, but at least, you know, I'm going to get a deal on it. I ain't doing it myself. I watched a video of what you got to do, and I'm like, eh. Uh, no, the not, whole dash you yeah. gotta come out. Not just that, you got to drop the steering column. You got to exactly. unplug like exactly. twenty different connectors. Like I'd remember where all of them went. Oh man! You got to disconnect the condenser. You got to yeah. disconnect the heater cord. Drop the whole darn dash out of the thing. Ask me how I know. How do you know? Because I had a quad cab that needed a heater cord in it, and I tackled it. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I think Warner Johnny I have to get a starter but, on his truck. But I said, I, I wish I hadn't never tackled it. Good What's morning, up, Johnny Small Pepper. Welcome in. What's up, Johnny? I like Good the morning. morning. We just took the glove box out and removed the heat core. <laughs> uh, my truck is running up and running, buddy. Thank you for asking. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. 
Nope. I well, misplaced country girl said hello. Hello, how you doing? Um, no, I don't have a warranty because the truck's a 2014 with 105,000 miles on it. And this is the first thing I've done to it, so I can't complain. Miss Place, you talk about anything you want to. I feel in here talking about gardening. I wish I had a garden. Last night, last night possum, I, I looked at the radar for it laid down, and uh, it showed it was going around the steel, so I wasn't worried about it. When I came in here uh, first, you guys what? were talking politics. I'm like, uh oh, I want nothing to do with that because people always get mad at me when I talk about politics. Yeah, that, yeah, they. But here's an insight. Sorry, was that... Here's a pro tip for all you gentlemen out there. You want to leave from a family function or a holiday? Start talking politics. They'll ask you to leave kindly. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, slide, man, that'll tear a dinner like table that. apart. Look at that! Look at them dogs. <laughs> Go dogs! Go dogs! This one's thirty-seven pounds. I can't believe it. There ain't supposed Good to be this big. Are you happy you're on camera now? And they are spoiled rotten. Absolutely, I love these dogs. Look at the teeth. I got to teach them. Yeah, she needs technical support. Let me fix them. Come here. <laughs> there we this go. place that's the way i am i'm just waiting for the ground to warm up a little more so i can get my summer garden in all right okay I, you can take I, me I, off I'll please you i thought you might want to be showing the other no the other ones around here somewhere for some reason they got up i don't know what the heck they want thank you hog leg it's much appreciated <laughs> yeah <laughs> I saw a video like you, Mark. that had a small, long-haired dog, and he had it shaved with a mullet and a mustache. <laughs> no, Jody, I haven't. I just need a goatee trim. It's way too long. Makes my face look skinnier, I think, when it gets to be this long. But, yeah, we ain't got no power, though. Man, oh, so I got bring bring uh, Abby back home. That little light you see over yonder, uh, that's past Soxton. <laughs> Dexter ain't got no power. Matthews ain't got no power. Canalu ain't got no power. I got What's rechargeable, up? though. <laughs> <laughs> got got power. Here's a you got aren't you on that room? Are you ever you e? Uh, No, we're CMO. That's oh, what that's, I want yeah, to know is the difference. If, if, if yeah, <laughs> there's a street a light difference. that's on over here at the co-op, how was there one street light on within 30 miles? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that well, that's a big difference in them dogs right there, and they're, they're born at the same time. Yeah, they're sisters. This one was the runt of the litter, though, so that's how come she's smaller. She's about five pounds lighter than the other one. Is yeah. that a little French one? Yeah, they're, they're, both, they're both friends. Well... They're Frenchies. The guy, all right, my quick story. I'm sure people know this. Uh, my marina sponsor uh, breeds these dogs. He also breeds, you know, like sporting bulldogs and stuff. They're ones that hang off of ropes and stuff. And he crossbreeded these with the, um, uh, some other breed that he had for a while just to try and get rid of some of the health problems that Frenchies have because they have a lot. So <coughs> one of the eyebrow kicks up here. They're bigger than their average French bulldogs, so. <laughs> my yeah. buddy got one it's solid white boy he gave a lot of money for it. but yeah there's some cute little slobber things boy i got i got these <laughs> yeah. I, trust me these were these two were a gift so i'm grateful for that oh wow oh, you gotta love that mark have you seen walter the french bulldog the the one that that talks i am so grateful they don't make noise like that dog <laughs> yeah kill him. the I one like that screams and howls you waiting on to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Jody, Uncle Lou said, hello, possible. Howdy, Jody. They've been bothering me to come up here, so. Now it sucks, man. It's like camping without a finger. <laughs> All luxury got took from us. 
We had a other than light. <laughs> Austin Bulldog show up years ago and just claimed us. And uh, she ended up being a very good dog. Uncle Lou, Melissa. Did you get rain last night? I knew too, Uncle Lou. No, sure didn't. Hey, no, I worked in the field. Well, yeah, you already know I worked in the field all day. But... <laughs> Chris M., how are you doing this morning? How did everybody in chat? Morning, Best Chris M., I heard some things this morning. I'm sorry, what'd you say? I'm replying to Jody here in chat. Uncle Lou said, I see the resemblance. Well, that's all right. I don't mind. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell anybody they're better looker, better looking than I am. I never claim to be a looker. <laughs> oh, damn. It ain't what you look like. It's what's on the inside. <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen that. You got to read a book before it's covered. That's right. It's all how you treat other people, if you ask me. Martin, Sandy, howdy, howdy. And Dave. Good brethren. Boy, I tell you, you got to love people. There's a lot of real good people here on YouTube, man. I tell you what. Yeah, there he is. And now I have enough to win. I know. Yeah. Forgive me, ma'am, Miss Place. I forgot your name. I try to. Place everybody with a name, and I'm place your face now. Since that Denise. Off. It's yep, Denise. Denise, yes, 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 it is. Denise is a very nice lady. I got to meet her at CatCon last, not this one, the year before reading. last. Oh, well, Martin was like, like one of the top, you know. I mean, uh, Martin's been around a long time, no bad me, and it was just so great to meet. Gotta love placing the face and shaking the hand. Good morning, Danny Stone. Welcome in. Good morning, Danny. What's up, Danny boy? Everybody have a good Easter? Did you get enough to eat? Uh, more than enough. More than enough. It, hey, did y'all see the video Danny put up with the uh, barge coming by? That was on my cue to watch next. <laughs> They said, look at how old lady live. Got love in him. Yeah. I got a lot on there. I can't <laughs> keep up working. It's, it, I always get around to it, though. I thought that was going to be. Oh, hey, again, yeah, that Vegemite is good in beef and vegetable soup. Jimmy Jack. Hi, sir. Good morning, Chris M. Welcome in. <clears throat> What's up, Chris? Chris M. We're oh, supposed to get Jimmy. snow tomorrow, too. Uh. Well, I'm going to step down so I can get me a bite to eat. Y'all be good today. All right. Thanks for coming up, Stephen. All right. Nice seeing you again, Stephen, bud. All right. You too, Mark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Possum. God bless, sir. Yeah, I remember where John Orton lives. They said there was a chance of snow up there where he was at. No, yeah. saying, I'm looking right now at the weather, and it's I got snow Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Ridiculous. Uh, kind of like kind of what I did last week, I guess. Or so maybe a week and a half ago. Look at that morning body space. Where is my charger box? My thing's on nine percent. Joey said it's nice to see Mark on on panel. I miss his Joe. We ain't kissing up, are we, Joey? I don't know. I, thank you, Joey. Oh. Look in there. You go to CatCon, Mark. Am I go? Hey. I did not go. I'm, I got travel plans this year, so I'm kind of budgeting my money. Everybody thinks I got more money than Chad, which is, is not true. I got a budget. I got a. I got a budget. I got a budget and stuff. So, hopefully, we'll be heading down south to fish with Jerry here. Go after some big crappie. I need to get a new PV. Um, hopefully, Josh will join us if he's feeling better. 
hopefully in the next I gotta get, when I as soon as I get my truck back, I'm gonna schedule that. I got an invite to go up north, uh fish right outside of Milwaukee, another crappie lake, go out there, check it out. Um, and then it's gonna be chasing after that 30 pounder for a couple of weeks because they're stacking up already, getting ready. They they stack up at that up in Mendota like a month or two prior to them starting the spawn and stuff. So right. Yeah, they're up there. We'll start chasing them and then I gotta I gotta get the bait tank and everything set up, start chasing them flathead again. We'll see how much time I put in for flatheads. To tell you the truth, I've been liking this sleeping at night. Like last <laughs> night, last night I passed out around seven PM. I slept till about three AM. So I got you know, I got eight hours of sleep, which is nice for once. Right. So we'll see. And once you know, like if you're <clears throat> switching from day shift to night shift where you're working, getting back on a normal schedule is like darn near impossible sometimes. Yeah. Know? Is Welcome that a in, my space. That is a storm in, uh, Chad Field. Or Chad. I can't get on my radar right now, or I'll tell you where it is. But What's up, Chad, buying spaces? Looks like it's lightning quick and fast and hard over there. That means it's See intensifying, that? yeah. Oh, no, Uncle Lou. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Uncle Lou. Oh. That came more I had a plan to go up north channel cat fishing, but that kind of fell through. The The wife can't get the time off, so that, that's what happened there. We were going to go up and hit that Red River and, and see if it's a... Uh, well, I know it's pretty darn good, but we were going to try and experience that whole Red River thing up there, which is pretty crazy from what I understand. I'm going to say that's beyond Cairo. That's in Illinois. No, yeah, this we're talking way up north border north dakota and no Canada. no no we're talking about cairo georgia okay oh, yeah, i'm that's... talking about the lightning i'm from missouri sorry oh. <laughs> i think it's a cairo illinois too i'm staying in the house i got the door open oh man yeah, I, had a, I also got an invite from a dear friend of mine to go up uh ice fishing in canada like a month ago i couldn't follow through with that either with the wife being sick and stuff but that would have been a cool adventure that was 75 mile and 75 mile snowmobile trip just to get to the outpost hey chad won't you put up dress and come on up here on the panel and join us ladies uh, hey, we're 12, 12. you should go 12 <laughs> y'all yeah, gotta get a, a bike tank I ain't lying. there you go see my manners how you catch them little minnows in that big tank? That can't be easy. I buy them by the pound, but I ain't got no bluegill in there. But here, here, here. Here's tomorrow. Second day. Look out. There we got go. two of them in there. And whenever, they I had, whenever I when I have whenever I have a bunch of blue or uh bullhead in my tank and I need I to keep them for a while, I'll go ball. over to the gas station that sells minnows and buy a couple dozen minnows man i can that with the lights off in the garage you can hear them chasing them around and they're hitting the side of that bait tank it's pretty funny oh, wow. you gotta love uh i don't know how to describe it. it's like feeding your own you know when you have one in the house you gotta learn what you fish eat and you know, that's the first time i ain't never had no bluegill in there but you can't have bluegill in there <laughs> or they'll eat all your members of it. That's right. I won't spend the money to buy and buy the pound unless, you know, I can. I won't buy and buy the dozen. They be getting you on that stuff. But Man, they, don't they don't sell them by the pound around here. It's always by the dozen. Oh, you used to yeah. have to drive 30 minutes for that, but now I'm driving a little, I don't know, about 15 or 10 now, but we're getting my dog. He brings a blanket with him. He's something. He's still like on me. He's still in the same spot. I ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't awesome. there, go how, bad. awesome. How big's that flathead in your icon? That's a dandy looking fish, man. I don't know. It's over 70. That's Carol only went to 70. <laughs> wow. 70 it's pounds. I'd get a replica. It'd be hard to beat, but I, I want to one day. I call it with a four inch bluegill. I mean, it don't take a big bait to catch yep. a big fish. Elephants Good morning, eat. Fat Boys Eric Adventures. What's up, Eric? Hey, morning. guys, these, these dogs are scratching at the gates. So I'm going to walk away for a minute see if they got to go out. Okay. All right. Morning, Stonefly. 
Wah, gimana? Ah, di setengah pulak, oh iya lam. Iya, mas, ada main kus. Sorry, mahan. Sorry, too, mahan. Yes, Lord. Great. The only place I ain't on chat is usually Jody's, and they know that, too. Uh, I don't know where Curtis is at, Stonefly. It's supposed to rain. I was doing the sprinkling. And you're going to tell me the cold front then went through and nothing? Yeah. Ain't no way. Yeah, there is a way. It happened, didn't it? <laughs> it well, I don't know yet. Oh, I, I can't look at radar. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, it got serious a while ago. Well, you don't know we. Yeah. Mm, I got a lot of people from there. About 12 30, 1 o'clock this morning, it was thundering. <clears throat> it's supposed to be bad for everybody east of the river here tomorrow, y'all. Y'all be aware. Please watch your radar. And it, 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 you won't see it, but it's going it, to happen. It'll come up quick. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the only thing I'm scared of is a tornado. The only thing. Because you don't never know where they come down. God oh, it's it's Just like lightning. Oh, man. Nasty there. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say they it was going to be the nastiest in Ohio. Oh, yeah. I didn't see Catfish Day. Howdy, Skywalker. I was seeing you all go. Yeah, I heard Catfish Day was at the uh, Catfish Day. I've never seen him. I'm a nice person, sir. I can walk right past him. I probably wouldn't know him. <laughs> well, uh, I like broccoli and... Absolutely, so, Melissa. Everybody be safe. But that's two different uh, tastes right there all together, Denise. I like, I watch that all the time. Even when I'm working, I like, I like the stuff I throw it. What's up, Eric? Yeah, I'll be careful out there, Eric. Be careful working today. Yeah, he might drive. Yeah, no joke. Yeah, somebody seen him at Cat Gun. D did. I seen. I I seen. Morella sent a picture to us about with Catfish Dave behind him eyeballing him. That was kind of funny. Mister Morella is a decent sized gentleman. I don't think there'd be too too much problem handling Catfish Dave. I mean Dave. Oh, my face is best true in things that you can track them. <laughs> There's no time to get out of the way of the path of a tornado. Exactly right. And that's why I'm scared of tornadoes. Well, that's why I say what's your right now. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Palmetto. What's up, Kevin? You know, Welcome. You can in. always go a mile Kevin? or two south or a mile or two north and always go south of what's coming. I got one of these handheld ham radios that I've had forever. Whenever we get bad weather, man, these things tell you more about yeah, you guys on it, don't it? the storm yeah. watchers and stuff. They'll mm. tell you more than any weather guy can. So yep, yep. you can get a cheap bow fung. Just learn what frequency it is. You don't need a license to uh, listen. So I right. highly recommend you get one. That's Standing right. and listening. That's, and like that's the only there. thing. That's the only thing that's going to be around when it all comes down. Yep. Is ham radios. Yeah, and points in the carburetor. Hey, man, brother. Everything is electric, boy. Uh, yeah, boy. Woo wee. I seen something underneath that. And that's a long way away, too. Wow. Yeah, I heard that uh, as long as you got your, if you have your batteries unplugged, when it, the uh, they attack our grid, uh, won't nothing happen to your car. It, you hook the battery back up and it runs still. 
Stay oh, with them too. Yeah. It's still got a well, memory in it. Yeah, that's why. That's why it saves you the radio station. Yeah, I, I'm not too to leave it to... <laughs> Sorry, Possum, what'd you say? Oh, well, how long you got to leave it to... Because your new vehicle's got a memory, even though when you... Yeah, yeah. You can really. unhook the battery and hook your positive to your negative and still not cancel out anything. That's right. And it still okay. saves your... Your, your your stuff. Now, how does that work? I ain't figured that out. I'm all about tracking these days. That, that's a track I ain't got to yet. I ain't found out how. But yep. They know something I don't. <laughs> and I don't know how it works. You know, I mean, how, how to have a battery that ain't hooked to a positive and you can't cancel it out or short it out and blow a fuse or. Just make sure you got, got a radio station. Make sure you got a bunch of beans and rice in the yeah in the cellar. Oh, and the red, look out! <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Also, we, we also like, if, if you got like them handheld radios or your cell phones or something, they say that throwing them in your microwave is better than nothing. Don't turn it on, obviously, but you know because the microwave is shielded on the inside to keep the microwaves in yeah. from leaving it. So. Yeah. That's as close to so a Faraday cage. So if I put me a microwave on my head, uh, it'll save me from radio action. Is that what it's saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's too late for me. I've been nuked one too many times. Oh, yeah. now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. I don't know what gig. He must be shrimping tonight, uh, Melissa. He was in a, I saw him on a um, Bug Bug show last night. He was in there. Yeah. <clears throat> Love the wind. And the wind was still. Now we got an outflow battery. Wind off the storm. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I love meteorology. Before ever anything happened. It's like watching, it's like grabbing a little rabbit. You ever heard the sound it makes? A lot of people don't know that unless they're grabbing one. You should have heard the sound the Easter Bunny made when my two little ones got a hold of it on Easter Sunday. I ain't even joking. (laughs) They caught one in the backyard. That poor thing was screaming for a few seconds. That was it. There's a warning called cow, but yes, sir. You don't know unless you try or do or see. You know, man, that's what it's all about. And I love being part of all that, learning and knowing why I'm, I'm always uh, investigating. <laughs> There's always a reason for everything. Learning is fun. Keeps your mind occupied. Yes, sir. I try to do that every day, at least something new. Yeah. <clears throat> no, Melissa, I ain't trying. <coughs> I believe I done got it. Damn, don't be getting sick, damn. <laughs> What well, ain't funny? <laughs> Whatever's going around is lasting forever. My wife was sick for eight days. Josh has been sick for a long time. Well, here we go. <laughs> so y'all sick. got weather channel? <laughs> yeah. The app. Did, have y'all seen the virus on there? No. That's been oh well. I think that that might be it. They kind of call it long COVID too, but I don't know what it is. No telling, man. Everything. Wherever the wind blows, where it lands up, and it's everything's new. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, the wind sure has been like blowing blow hard animals. around here the last few days. Ooh, it's <laughs> and been I won't get a beautiful. flu shot or a COVID shot. I let my own immune system do what it does. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't had COVID, and I ain't had any of the shots. And I'm, Ooh, I've had three times. <laughs> it's rough. I, I spent me and Melissa spent life. Christmas last year, or not this last yeah, year. I, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We I never could. had pneumonia, but I guess it sounds close to it. I mean, you don't even want to get out of bed to pee or eat. That's just terrible. <laughs> but yeah, don't get nothing if you ain't got to. <laughs> don't make nobody make you. Anyway, that's that's I say. That's Everybody nice. hold your own feet. All in one go. I stand true by that. 
I'm old fashioned. Just a little high tech redneck. <laughs> More I got all these fancier old stuff, man. I catch less fish. <laughs> That's why I catch Amen. more fish. Away from me. <laughs> Amen. Uh, I know everybody loves their spooks and stuff. I mean, that rattle does not make a darn difference. <laughs> all my big fish come off the bottom. Playing on we lots. used them back in the day. We just took the treble hooks off, cut the bill off of them, You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> yep. They made it a thing. I thought I had that too back in the day. I took an old weed eater and, and took the end off of it. You know, bent shaft. I mean, a real weed eater, like a long boy, you know, weed eater, like a weed eater brand. <laughs> Not just a weed eater. <laughs> well, I put me a skill saw on there about when I was five. And, well, I thought I had some. It didn't until I broke the shaft in it. But oh. I, I kind of wonder if anybody ever made that before the 90s. I think I was about five years old when I switched that out. But yeah, you got to love knowing and figuring out stuff. I had a weed whacker. A weed for country about, when country wasn't cool. <laughs> 20, 23 years and it finally gave out on me. I fixed it a few times. New carburetor, new bulb, all that stuff. And finally I cracked the head on the thing. I'm like, well, time to buy a new one. So I bought one of them electric ones. I ain't ever turned back. I know there's going to be a lot of people say electric this, electric that. But I'll tell you what. Golly, drop a, ba golly, drop a battery in that sucker. Drop a battery in that sucker and I'm gone. <laughs> Mark, I don't want to be I heard and right, but still, y'all still going the opposite way. When y'all go Jetsons, I'll be the last one with a rice burner. It sounds loud, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All that does is going to draw attention to you. Why well, hell, true. I do that anyway, Mark. <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> like a hide. <laughs> oh man. And I don't, I don't feel, you know, I, mean, or, or, I can't even make a show. Man. I can't make nothing up. <laughs> For real. I don't stay on fly. Does anyone have a VHF uh, in their boat, handheld or base unit? I don't. I, I get, I get VHF channels on that, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking to set up my boat to fish on the big lake on Lake Michigan, and that's one of the things that I have to consider getting probably won't happen this year because the investment's kind of ridiculous oh i feel good down the rest of it. it's healing it's itching <laughs> i'm just messing with you if that's truth though that's truth yep i heard that <laughs> uh, I, I don't have vhf on on my boat <clears throat> Most in in water lakes, you can get to, or at least float to, where you get a cell signal. But when you're like the guys who do with downrigger fishing on, on yeah, Lake Michigan, they're that. going out twenty try. miles. You know, there's no cell signal out there. So, good morning, just Jeff. Yeah. I give yeah. you fifteen minutes. And I'm gonna eat and I don't know. I'm gonna see what I gotta figure out some more. <laughs> Ain't long for I gotta go to work. I'm trying to buy, but I, I was excited, boy. I was like read timber tonight. No, hey, you got to put on that, that front. Yeah, I can't look at the radar. I think it done passed us, and it should be raining right now. If it's here, I don't think it's here yet. It's got to be frontal. It's, it's got to be before. There's an idea for your hog leg. You have like a, a a radar image on it, so you can click on it for the whole country. We can watch bad weather when it's coming through. Hey, yeah. I'm a premium member. Of, How would uh, I do that, though, Mark? Weather Channel, and I spotted one tornado. of them. Yeah, either Weather and Channel, Matthew, or Noah. Noah did. has. Uh, oh, look at this! I can get river flood warnings here. I just checked mine. But I'm sure there's something out there. I'll take a look around. I'll email you if I find something you can probably use on here. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You could look at the whole country and get an idea of where the weather. <laughs> or at least that our part of the country. I figure what? From Uncle Lou East is where most of the view people here are. Right. You know? Exactly. Wouldn't be too bad. So. Oh, I'll be gardening and fishing. We grow them in the closet. <laughs> 
we got peppers and you know prior to spring you, you do it in the winter time anyway anything with lights awesome and you can keep your bugs and stuff you know i mean it's better than until you introduce them outside, you know, they don't know what's going to happen when they get all the bugs on them in, but. Yeah. Anyway, I'd, sorry. If I had a garden, man, I'd have stuff like green beans and carrots. I had green beans on Easter. I ain't had them in so long. They were delicious. I don't know. I know a lot of oh, people don't man. care for them. But some fried green beans. Uh, mm -hmm. Some bacon grease. They were fantastic. Oh, I'm just like you, Mark. I, yes, sir. We mm -hmm. save ours and. Mm -hmm. That's like wilted lettuce. You know something about that? That's something that goes. That's the only thing to wilt it with. <laughs> yeah, amen. You know, I, I've never had wilted lettuce before. Well, you need some pride head lettuce to start out with, or some, at least some uh, Roman. <laughs> you some don't need no or bread or whatever. Ain't nothing but all water, but yeah, just fry up some bacon bits and throw them in there hot with a little bit of bacon grease, and it'll it'll wilt just fine. And yeah. you stir it up, and you got green onions in it, and yeah, boy. Yeah. It's like when, I make spinach, when I make spinach <laughs> well, uh, omelets, they're pretty good. You got to get that spinach to wilt up a little bit. and it's. Oh, yeah. If you start from fresh, it's always good. If it's been frozen yeah. or something, it's not as good. But That's mm. like the difference in a mater from the store. It's waxy yeah. compared to what you grow, ain't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <a> different shell. <laughs> yeah. Grow, ain't nothing green, like a homegrown mater, no. Best tomatoes I ever had were when I was in Ohio from the Amish store. Oh my goodness, they're worth a dollar a piece. I ain't even gonna that's try. like a quail egg. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, look, I, do too. I like a quail egg, uh, buying space. Wildwood seed was stone. We went out to eat a couple of weeks ago and I had some uh. Uh, Louisiana style fried catfish at a kind of a bougie restaurant, and I'm and I'm ordering catfish. Oh my god, it was so good! I went and I tipped the morning the, the chef twenty bucks to give me that darn recipe, and he did. So I'm gonna have to give that a shot here soon. There you go. Look out! Look out, Jody Mark coming from you, coming for you. Welcome in, you North you outdoors. I'm in Georgia. All right, I'm going to go make some coffee, and then I'm going to be down in chat. I'll be up for a little while, folks. All I right. just want to come up here. here and say hello and make sure that you guys did know that I was avoiding coming up here or nothing. I just oh, no. <laughs> laying low. Oh, nice to see you, Mark. Nice I'll see ever you, catch you, but Yes, sir. It's, it's a little early for me, but... We'll, we'll, we'll do awesome. Hopefully, I'll get out there and fish. Maybe we'll do a couple of live streams or whatever. No, I don't know. I I, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Yet. I'm kind of... Just trying to fish, so. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll be back, be guys, <laughs> in chat. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Had him in fairly T. Take it easy, Mark. <laughs> Thanks for coming up, Mark. Oh, you got to love that. Talk to text. <laughs> yeah, it don't matter. Hey. Hell, uh, Babel can't keep up with me. Yeah. <laughs> you think my speech is done? <laughs> I tell you what, that talk to text, man, that's... Phew. That has got me in trouble. I'll, I'll I'll be in chat somewhere, and they'll be. What did he just say? Yeah, yeah. Come out <laughs> all kinds of backwards. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll lay. More than w w w w. Yeah, John. There's an announcement. Anybody going around this week that you know of, Hog Lake? Do what? Anybody doing anything this week you know of? Ain't that right? Stuff. Yeah, I know of. I know of. Let's see. No interpreter. <laughs> let's see. Let's, let's see. I know that Catfish Weekly is coming on tonight at 8 p.m. with Lyle Stokes. Chad Fields and Josh Dunnigan, if he's well. But <clears throat> Troy from Real and Virtual Outdoors will be coming on tomorrow at 2 p.m. with his Euro Trucking. There you go. Be sure to tune in to Troy. And hey, y'all, tell him Hog Legs sent you. And look out.
for muskrat and creole catfishing. They're the best educational channel out there as far as I'm concerned. They come on at Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. They do a really good job. <clears throat> and now, let's see. Yeah, that was last night, Tuesdays. Yep. Tuesday. Oh, oh. Why, oh, yes. Yeah, oh, right. look yeah. here. I, I messed it up. Man, I'm getting on, you see. Oh, yeah. man. Hey, wow. You gonna pull the rug out. That's Monday. tonight. That's tonight. Today. Today. Euro trucking for <laughs> real and virtual outdoors. Oh man, muskrat adventures and live with Creole catfishing. They go simultaneously tonight for the bookends. Them two ought to be brothers right there. They do a good job over on Panfish Nation, and y'all tell them hog legs sent you. And Hump Day with retired Rick. He does a heck of a show over there. Man, let me tell you, he's about like this channel. They talk about everything and anything over there. Whatever y'all come up with. That's right. Yes, that's exactly right. And I think that's all for now. <laughs> no, they ain't brothers, but they ought to be, shouldn't they? Oh, oh, no. oh, give him two days, Danny. He'll know what to do. <laughs> He's still used to doing that five day a week, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm still used to doing this. Uh, yeah, I got to get used to Monday to Thursday. Uh, yep. I just go for Russell Friday's. Lavender <clears throat> singing now. I think the front's done passed. Well, uh, I look here. Uh, we didn't get a leg of stone. They ain't got no power. I miss. I miss them up too much. Because <laughs> doesn't know what day it is. Uh, it don't take a storm to create a problem. No, Mister Mosley. <laughs> Y'all see the sun come up here just directly. I can turn my camera a little bit, but we Man. got a little lightning over and then over. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Well there you go. I have the pose button down now. Good morning, Steve Mosley. Welcome in. Howdy, Steve. Hell, my phone's crooked. Y'all could have told me. <laughs> <clears throat> I ain't yeah. got my good one out. Keep my hand. Dog wallers all over. Yeah, yeah, he can. Uh, I might as well go on and make this announcement. Uh, uh, is it, you know, I've been doing this show for. Two and a half years now. Oh no! Don't tell me you're gonna give up. And I, I think I need a little time away from from it. Oh, you can do that. Just don't give up. <clears throat> oh, I heard it when you. I oh, knew what you said. Oh no! The mm -hmm. boar's nest is temporarily closing, y'all. Uh, and look for a new improved boar's nest. Uh, I need some time to put some things together. Uh, do what? Rejuvenate it. Yeah. Well, just no editing and all that other stuff don't make a difference if you think you got to improve. Oh no, I, I'm not worried about editing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just needing some time. I'm just needing some time off. I hear you. I do that once. Man, too much stress. Too, you know, everything gets to a level. Even when you work at a job. Or say, say it's all great. Trust me, he does. Yeah. Don't let it interfere with your life. That's, yeah, I need some, uh, 
I, I need some time away, you know. Uh, things haven't been uh, the same since, you know, KP died. Uh, he was my right-hand man. Uh, some liked him, some, some loved him, and some didn't care too much for him. But, I mean... I have nothing against him, sir. Okay. Well, I, 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 you know, me and him was like uh, Ed McMahon and Johnny Carson. <laughs> there you go. We were, I understand. We, were, we were two peas in a pod, you know. And Danny Stone said that. Uh, <clears throat> no, it ain't, it ain't nothing to do with Curtis. Uh, you know, if I have a co-host or not. I mean, people usually come up during my show, so, you know, it don't matter uh, if Curtis is here or not. I don't blame it on Curtis at all. But <clears throat> as a matter of fact, with Curtis doing this, it's made me uh, realize that uh, I need I need some time off. Uh, I've been doing it for two and a half years. It's like the sun coming up and the lightning in the background. It's always a good thing. You always choose. Yep. When you think about it, it don't matter about the other people. You do what you need to, and your people will always be there. Right. Did you see Kenan got her nursing degree? I'm so proud of her. Congratulations. Has to have time to make fishing. There you go. Hey, you go, Uncle Lou. Hey, I smile at haters. Hey, I, I got to have time to make. Yeah, and that's what I. That's what I'm tending on doing. Uh, <clears throat> and Jody says, "YouTube is a hobby, and sometimes it takes up too much of our time, and we have to pull back." And yeah, Jody. Yes, ma'am. I know you don't like hearing that, but yeah. We're just like our kids, you know what I mean? When they get out there and get a pole in their hand or get in the dirt with a garden or doing doing some dishes or something instead of having a phone in their hand. That's right. And and y'all don't y'all 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 know that uh uh Ace is he's got cancer and I know that he's Melissa's dog, but uh you know He's been in my life 16 years, too. Well, may the sun come up and shine bright on us tomorrow or today. That's right. Is he still eating and drinking and stuff? Yeah, he's eating a little bit and he's drinking a little bit. And uh, uh, he's still attentive. Man, I say uh, my dog from Parvo, man. He don't know. The there thing. you go. Man, I feel you. I have some personal things. That's right, Mark. I need a break. Yeah, we just we we all need a break from YouTube sometimes, and uh, that's you know, I've been doing it for two and a half years, practically practically every day. You know. And uh, I, I just need uh, I need a break. Oh, I understand, man. I and went but, hard when I first got on here, man. I hung out with everybody, and it was fun. And you know, it, I, I still done it after work. But man, <laughs> older I got, yeah. and more acres we do. You know, I got time for it. And that's kind of like what I've been doing here lately. I ain't been making no videos. Me and my buddy just been going fishing. And that's right. That's right. And uh. <clears throat> Who knows? Uh, you might see me around somewhere. I'm, I mean, I'm going to finish out this week. Uh, I know I'm just not breaking the news to y'all, but I'm going to finish out this week, and then I'll, I'll be taking a little break from YouTube. Not YouTube itself, but from the show. Well, uh, I always know you're watching, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Hey, I'm always I'm always lurking. Yes, sir. You learn a lot that way. And I love being being true and being factful. You know what I mean? Yep. And I always watch, even if I don't chat. 
And I love all the people I imagine mod in there, you know what I mean? Because I'm watching for a reason. <laughs> yep. Crows ain't nothing but a breeze we burn. They ain't got nothing better to do. And it, it, it intrigues me because they don't, <laughs> they can't keep up. But yeah. I've never had a problem with that. But I laugh at people that do. They let, you're letting something get to you that you shouldn't. And you can always shun that by a different way. <laughs> That's right. It's lovely. Uh, John, we we ain't going nowhere, John. I mean, we we ain't going nowhere. It looks like my phone's moving, but I ain't. Like I said, look look for a new and improved boar's nest. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He took that one week vacation and now he let him. That's 30. One week vacation. And- yeah. Couple weeks, three weeks, whatever long it needs, and come back rejuvenated, full of vigor. And, and hey, it's better to do that sometimes. <laughs> you got a lot of people, you know. <laughs> you don't ever go against them. You don't. You keep everything to yourself, and you be a gentleman to everybody, and don't let people know what you know. <laughs> Uncle Lou, um, Uncle Lou, I want y'all to know how good Uncle Lou is. He uh, oh, he's a good. He he gave he gifted me a uh, Minn Kota co-pilot with two remotes. Uh, y- y'all don't y'all don't know how much that man means to me right there. But uh, he's the OG, and y'all can uh, check him out in my descriptions. Hang on, I go get the What are you talking about? Hey, Miss Jones, how how you doing this morning? I have short term memory. Ah, I mean, I don't I don't know if this time slot will be open or not when I decide to come back, but if it ain't, you know. I put it on a different show some some at some other time. I don't know where Amanda put it. She didn't move stuff on me, but I got one, Uncle Lou. I got it from uh, uh, Mr. Lingen. Here, Dan. Just pick up where you left off. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, don't bother me. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah. You know, the mornings will always be the show. Well, it'll be. Well, yeah, uh, I usually ain't up here by now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I watched so. though. Trust me, that. He is a uh, mark. Uh, there you go. Good deal, man. <clears throat> Miss John, how you doing, ma'am? Sorry, I just got back on the chat. Hey, pass Mark tissue. Huh? Oh, yeah. tell me you're crying. Y'all don't know how uh, hard. Yeah, you don't Love hurts, boy. Love yeah. hurts. I love each and every one of you. I mean, and a tear ain't a sign of a, a scaredness of you, and it ain't a it ain't a sign of a you're a weak person either. No. It's a sign you have a feeling that yeah. matters to yeah. others. That's right. And if anybody pays attention to that and they take heed of that, then there's something to. That's right. God bless yeah. us all. You need to finish up your office and get everything rearranged. Oh yeah, that's that's what I'm I'm gonna take some time and get this wall over here completed. And then when, when I come back I'll yeah. freaking skater this bit. I'll uh, have my wall completed and, and yeah. 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 I'm dead inside my yeah. point. Well, thank you, Mark. Oh, no, your heart's still bumping. 
Come on now. That keeps your head intrigued, see? If your head tells everything to do, Mark, everything in you. I'm no nearer solid as you but I promise you, I promise y'all I'm coming back. Though. I'm going to have my wall all fixed up and uh, who knows what time slot I'll have because if somebody takes my time slot, uh, you know, I'm not going to try to take it back. But, uh, now, you know, Buggy won't do that. He's just. Oh, no, I, I don't. I'm not. Hey, more power to. Hey, Bugman right, does a great job. Now. That's, your, that's your brother, too, now. Yep, that's right. Hey, we can always do a roll call Thursday. There you go. Hoorah, look at that. Until he gets everything done and gets relaxed and, and re, re being himself there and boom. Go back the same time slot. That's kind of like that's being like Bill Dance. You can't never replace that, or you can't be better than that. You know what I'm saying? But Buggy is your brother that will be there, and and you'll be there with him too until. Yep. And then he won't. He won't. He'll say the same words you said. Yep. Because he wouldn't. Yep. That's why well, words, I know this is kind of ignorant, forgive me, but that's why some words are written in red and some are in black because everybody pays attention to the red ones. <laughs> <laughs> Danny just bug making it still wait long no, enough to this spot. Oh, man. <laughs> <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> I've got to keep reaching over and poking him. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Yep. That's great. We're all good people, so. That's all that matters. Yep. Everybody got each other back. Yeah, just remember so when I you take. Got Danny. Come on now. I got a chain waiting. Anytime. When you take the time off, read... <laughs> Just make sure you get that boat out and go fishing, man. Relax. Oh, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and we don't water mud holes out and we don't make too many fires. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Is it? And uh, I tell you what, now I can take this uh, my boat over here to this uh, state reservoir uh, with that trolling motor that Uncle Lou sent. Well, Mark, they, what they, don't have, you they don't have flatheads or blues in there, but they got channel cats and they got crappy and they got all kinds of fish, other fish. Didn't know you had one. Huh? Oh, Mark said he got a second channel. I didn't know he had one. Yeah, it it, go, it goes live on. Uh, he made a second channel to goof off with. Oh, look out, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, you know, I'd be nice where I have to, and I'd be where I want to when I can be. Profit <laughs> line. There you I'm go. The there he is right there. It's yep. called this one. All right. Keep catfish and crappy live. All right. I have to hook you yeah. up right in the lip, Mark. I ain't lying. There you go, Chris. Uh, California and Arizona type fish. Indiana, too. And <laughs> Ohio, too. <laughs> Iowa. Iowa. I always get, I uh, always say. I'll be watching you live, you know what I mean? I, I like y'all crappie talk. I'll be listening. I'll be there. <laughs> Never say nothing, but yes, sir. Ah. She said hoggy all. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Coastal. Look at that. I small water. Excuse me. Sorry. Forgive me. I pronunciated that wrong. I was thinking you was up. Morning, Dave. <laughs> Backlashes miss. Forgive me. Good morning. Welcome in, Double Hook Angry. Thank you, Dave. 
Yeah, I know. No, I ain't worried about that, Melissa. Any, this slot's open for anybody. But I'd rather do it. There's a mob bird. Slot. Look out, boy. We got the robin. got the mob bird. Oh, man. Well, small water says, ouch, possum. That hurt a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on your toe. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Double hook said, I finally there, got up buddy. early enough. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> Some of them names I can't even pronounce, I mean. Golly. Well, I need to pick that. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> no, Melissa. Relax. God love us, though. We try. We try. No. Yeah, I, I, you know, I'll be around, you know, and uh, I'll be happy to come up on anybody's panel. You know, just throw the invite out. And uh, anytime I got stream y'all linking out there, man, anybody's welcome. Yep. Absolutely. Right. I need to go live sometime, but <laughs> well, you about to get into planting, and it's going to have to happen, though. So Amanda been getting on me. She's like, you we go fishing? You ain't going to lie? Well, no. <laughs> kind of just trying to go fishing. Uh, to <laughs> well, you got to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, double hook. I, oh, how I, I know. <laughs> we, we. What? <laughs> Travel chief came more in. More of a killer hopper on the panel, man. I, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, I I'm there about three days a week, and I ain't, I ain't, I ain't made no time to get in there, dude. But I will. I sure will. I love my wait. 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 You see that hog leg, wag wag? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's Bobby boy. <laughs> Good morning, Bob brother. I don't know what he meant by that. Oh, either. <laughs> go we got like four friends about all that. Really? It'd been a walk oh, walk. Yeah. Anybody is more than welcome on my panel anytime, small water. I know. I told her I, I heard that I was better than the radio and the TV. I ain't got no commercial vibe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they told me that in the woods. <laughs> you give me a fire to talk around. We we all got stories. Yeah, I, I imagine because it you you were scared to death uh, after man. It, it's that's changes your whole world when you have a heart attack. Yeah, man, that's what I think it's gonna happen to me, boy. I'm gonna stroke out on the phone. <laughs> they been having them chest pains for about a month, man. Just like how much energy that drained out of you, tired your body out. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to get that energy back up. That's right. Something mm -hmm. like that to drain you. It's <laughs> terrible. What like Mark? Half of you out of you, but I didn't day, know that, Mark. You still Please. got it in you, <laughs> and you can still come back to it. That's He's right. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, mom. We're gonna be <laughs> welcome up here. Good God, it's raining like. No, I meet myself. Good God. Loud, what in my ear there, fly guy? They go from skater to fly. Don't be calling your mama crazy. Small hey, don't be, hey, don't be trading paint now. Eric. I know it's raining. <laughs> hey, Eric, y'all better be careful up there and keep your eye on the sky, okay? Yes, sir. What? It's liable to get dangerous. Eric, you weren't making no sound. I mean, we heard you talking. <laughs> Welcome in, Bug Man. Broke back, Bob. Welcome in. We we'll take care of my mom. She's crazy. Ah, quit calling her crazy. What the hell is that? 
Lauren Parker? It sounds like a nigger blowing at me. Sounds like a what? It sounds like a deer blowing. Oh. But there ain't no deer here. It's going. Psh, psh. It's in that woods there. That, that, <clears throat> that. You see that pipe right there? There's a little tree behind it. There's something in it. I sound like a deer blowing, but, uh. Huh. Oh, it's a bird. I wonder what bird it is. Surely it sounds like my dog huffing at me, but. Oh, John Switzer? There's an owl. Who, uh, who? John Switzer outdoors. Welcome in. <laughs> they stopped. They heard me talking about it. I just want to see you. Where's one? Oh, talking about oh yeah, it's uh, watching sorry. me. It's probably an owl. Every time I go fishing, Where's who, who the heck is Watley? Man, it's just a different sound. Kind of like that rabbit I was talking oh. about earlier. <laughs> it's over here. I don't know. It's some kind of bird, but it's oh my god. Well, I give her 10 minutes. I'm going to go in here and eat my supper that I cooked earlier and <laughs> go to work and uh, fix Amanda up without no power. And... <laughs> Welcome aboard, Danny. I got Good morning. Power, <laughs> you know, Man, I, I hate to hear that you're leaving. I ain't leaving. Uh, I'm just taking a break, man. Oh. oh, okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. Everybody needs a break every now and then. Oh, heck yeah. Heck you yeah. got to play that virtual fishing game, right, Bob? Hey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, the, they going to go over and whoop some butt, man. He says, Dan's yeah. got it coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my thing is, you know, if you're taking a break, that means we're going to get to start seeing you fishing more, right? I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, we better. If you ain't doing this, you need to be fishing. <laughs> Look, at that. That. Look at that right there. Boom. Hey, I won first place. Well, hey. Look out. Hey. Hey. I won. Hey, 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 I won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Curtis, go get you. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Curtis, speak for me, would you? You, 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 you be my manager. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord, Dave. Sounds like nothing wrong. <laughs> How are you doing, Dave? I'm doing good. Good morning. Every every day that goes by, I feel more and more like myself. Yesterday That's was awesome. the first. Yesterday was the first day I actually wasn't really tired. Okay. So, hey, a little at time, man. Like Rusty, I tell him they gonna be overworking these damn shoulders. But. Well, they told me three to six months before because I had like, uh, you know, four or five little uh, what they call it, angina or whatever before I had the heart attack. And so they said that there's oh, yeah. enough, you know, muscle, you know, muscle damage or whatever that it'll take a while. But I was, uh, yesterday was my first day back out here goofing off. So I feel like a there, Rosie's running around my shop. She's just like snooping and stuff. Damn, Danny running 80 mile an hour. <laughs> uh, uh, 76, 76. Well, I, I can get a telephone pose. <laughs> well, well, we're not late today, so we can drive. We can back it down to normal speed. Lord and mercy. Be careful. Hey, uh, no, Chris, I didn't start this game until about three weeks ago. I'm already at level 45. 
Oh, I could yeah. start that game two years ago and I'd be at level four. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> you doing that? You own console, ain't you? I sure did. Wow. Put it right so in like, there, boy. Yes, sir. That. And then the steering wheel is going to be offset. That way you can sit beside the console or stand beside the console instead of having to be right behind it. There you go. So, but I made it kind of like, you know, like I said, I was going to a little pirate ship looking. <laughs> yeah. You know, from the, from the front. That's, uh, that, that's clad iron. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, you want to get your real anchor and put on the boat. So, bed, like, right? There's a, there's a, <laughs> There's a hole in the metal right there, but that's a perfect spot to put a light to shine out on the deck. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God, but yeah. That was the old diesel drum out the farm. Aye. A 150-gallon diesel drum. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to love recycling. Let's go. <laughs> but then I got the 3 8 inch rod lift all the way around it, which y'all know I got plenty of 3 8 inch rod laying around. <laughs> and one more thing, just to prove to Naomi that this heart attack ain't going to stop me. Hey, hey, hey. See that? That's 50 rods of steel. I can make 100 rod holders out of that. He said, Ooh, man. Boom! Boom! <laughs> So, and Dave, I want to tell you, there's been twice now, twice, that them rod holders have saved one of my rods from going into the river, buddy. So I appreciate you. Hey, I'll tell you what, that eight, the 88 pounder alone makes me impressed. But if you guys yep. can see, well, I've sure already lost are. 10 pounds in just two and a half weeks. Eating the way I'm eating. Oh, and I, 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 I feel for you, sir. To cut out bacon, that, 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 that's a lot. I, Mark wouldn't even do that. Well, I cut, I cut, I did. I, I will not. I will eat bacon one day a month. Is all I get bacon. So when I get my bacon, I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, boy. That's like a biscuit and gravy or a fried squirrel if you ever get it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, yeah, this, this, as soon as the squirrels are done, as soon as the squirrels are done having their babies, I'm going to go get me a couple of squirrels out of the tree row and I'm going to make me some squirrel gravy because yeah, they told me I can eat gray. all the wild game I want. So sorry, all them little animals Dad's out there. You are, you are definitely <laughs> in trouble this year. I got a lot of tree rats, bull. <laughs> hey, good morning. <laughs> they can make old fox squirrels get a little tough sometimes, but they still good. Well, you get some of them yep. young little, you get some of them young squirrels that are just a little smaller. They fry up beautifully, oh, and then you get the tougher her. ones. The tougher ones, you just chop the tar out of them and make gravy. There you go. Or you put them in the crock pot and you make, make some dumplings. Yeah, hey, I make dumplings. Hey, but, small yeah. water said. Uh, Okay. Oh, we got power back. Time may go in. Do what? Making a boat to stand behind wheel. Been waiting on that. I still I didn't hear you over the other racket. I'm sorry. Here I got a button. Okay, a man in a wheelchair making boat to stand behind wheel. That's a classic. <laughs> Well, I'll sit behind the wheel, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, it's funny because I tell people I'm running around. <laughs> I got, I've been running around doing my errands today. <laughs> I've been rolling around, I guess. But no, I feel so much better after the weekend. Um, I just took the weekend and me and Gregory, I did tie some gigs, but I mostly went fishing. I caught 150 crappie yesterday. What? They, they were all six to eight inches long, but it's still, I caught 150 crappie yesterday. Hey, if you keep 30 of them, you can get a nugget off a hand side one now. I don't, just, yeah. we, you know, I don't keep much fish, but. 
crappie, you know, that's a little different. Yeah. They'd have been that they would have been whole fryers. You wouldn't have filleted them. Hey, I like cold fryers. Oh, yeah. like a barrel, and I just Get stepped that. in dog doo doo. Whoa, look at that when the power come on. Ain't that something? <laughs> Get, the, get that little season. thin fish chip at the end. I gotta go to work here in about thirty minutes. But for dinner tonight, I'm gonna have fallow steaks, fallow deer steaks, because they said I could eat all the wild game I want. Wow! I'll be on it. Too. Jeff Beal says if you don't have a picture of all those crappy, it doesn't count. Oh, here well, we I'm not go. taking pictures there. I'm not. I'm. I'm not in it. Oh, I'm not yeah. in it for competition or nothing. And I'm, I'm not taking behind. pictures of 150 fish. I, Mark heard what I said too. Say I wasn't lying. I won't fib on nobody now. <laughs> bacon, bacon, bacon. <laughs> you, you I'm go. sure Gregory will be on somebody's live and be telling everybody. <laughs> I'm so impressed with that boy. He's been tar he's been getting on people's lives and actually I'm talking. Button, I know I've seen him. I've seen I've seen him on live talking. Look out, son. Here it comes. I mean it only yeah, took he was him twenty seven years. Last time. What did you say, Danny? Yeah, he came up he came up on Catfish Weekly last night and chat was talking to everybody. Yeah. There you go. It only took him twenty seven years to start talking to other people. <laughs> Well, he figured it out real quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like he plays, he plays uh, those video games. So, like you know, Call of Duty and stuff like that. So he does talk okay. on there, you Come know, on. chat on there, but it's very you know simple chat. It's just you know look out or high or behind you or stuff like that. But right, the fact that he's actually acknowledging people by name and and do it that's just to us that's amazing. It is amazing. I mean, that's great. Now, I'm if he just talked to people in person, <laughs> if he'd actually talk to people in person, it'd be a different story. So, well, you know, <clears throat> we'll get there. Yeah, he'll. I I think that he'll open up eventually. I know. Uh, I know. You, I, I know all of you. Find it hard to believe. I'm a kind of shy. I'm a kind of shy person myself. I used to be. You get. I think you can still see it a little bit hoggy. Huh? I, can I still think shy. you can still I mean, see a little bit of the shyness. Tongue, but oh yeah, I, I was. I mean, it blew my. I mean, it blew my mama's mind. But this mind that I ever wanted to do this on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I got three minutes clock in, so I'm gonna say bye to y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I right. oh, you, Danny. Thanks for coming up. It's don't get washed away man. by no boat props. <laughs> yeah, don't be getting no bad wash. <laughs> my orders there. Call me the best kid that I can't beat. <laughs> that that video that Danny put out yesterday with that, with that short little video he put out about almost losing Jody's rod that but I did not realize that barge wash when they turned was that strong and pushed like that it's only in that part of the river <laughs> hey, yeah my cousin was surprised Wait, yeah. Yeah. so was that like a that's just a big bend in the river and they had to turn like that Yes, sir. It's the deepest, deepest spot, and it's right in the bend. And yeah, right on. Oh, you come up one time on on stage, broke back, Bob. I got a wombo to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at, I got a lot of screenshots and stuff. Uh, I like brother Bob now. He but I should me. have, I should have that console done today. So I get and painted and everything. Y'all, y'all gonna like the paint job I do too. So, there you I'm go. going all out with this Jolly. My boat is going to be called the Jolly Roger, uh, I'm, and oh, I'm yeah. Captain Hook. So, there you go. Army mate, you. I'm gonna take it to the <laughs> with the first time I launch it. I'm gonna take it to the whole next level too. No, I'm I'm on the hunt for a captain's hat. You know, like an old one that you know, the three point and the big feather and 
Yeah. Well, shoot, we're going to have to get a pair to go on your shoulder and everything, man. <laughs> Even if it's fake. <laughs> but I'm seriously That's thinking like about Jody. painting my boat bright orange. That's right, Jody. Hey, Bob Zilla was on the 1v1 on my show. Yep, sure was. I'll think about it, John. Good time. Oh, yeah. Good time. But I'm, I'm seriously thinking about painting my boat orange. Like the whole thing orange, except for the tunes. Uh, <laughs> Joe, you will get by. She just had to do it. To be the, bright, <laughs> be the brightest, ugliest boat on the water. <laughs> no, John, you can't. Now it's gonna be Joey Villa. Look no, out. no, no, no. <laughs> no, sure can't. I know, son. You want to go in there and go to bed with your mom? I got to go to work. I've been watching all night. I'm sorry you waited up on me. But Catfish and Crappy said he like orange. And I appreciate your efforts. I, got, I like orange, too. Well, I've been, I worked on the boat two weeks this week, and I should be able to get it done in two more times. So if, I, if everything goes right, I mean, this might help held me back. So, I mean... I probably shouldn't be doing the things I'm doing yet. Because <laughs> they take only cleared easy, me to do. Just take it easy. Come I on, know man. they only cleared me to do light stuff, but you don't yeah, want right. to tell you like rustic, don't be uh, you might not want to hear it, but <laughs> don't be over certain. <laughs> I know, I know. I, my wife keeps telling me every 15 minutes. <laughs> Jody says I want to paint mine black. And pinstripe it with green. I here for a long logos, time. Sure but that. lots of work. Well, see, my colors are orange, that lime green, and and black, but not very much lime green and black. So I'm thinking painting the boat orange and then trim it out in the lime green and the black. <laughs> Small water. He's going to get cheached up. Loose. Ah. That's about like tubing when they didn't tell you to paint, huh? <laughs> they won't tell no newbies nothing. You find that on your own. Look out. <laughs> but thanks for letting me come up on panel, Hog Leg. I'm going to jump back down and chat so I can see what everybody's saying. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome up here anytime. Well, have I know, a good I know. Day. I, I appreciate each and everybody for their prayers and their blessings and their thoughts and, you know, all that. You will forever that. be there, sir. I'm I'm getting back to it, so you know. Hopefully, I can my health can continue and improve, and I don't have to worry about it no more. Just you know, keep it straight with the medicines and the diet, and you know, as long as I don't feel no heart pain, I'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> the problem right. is every time I get indigestion this last couple of weeks, I'm like, it scares is this a big you one? it scares you. I know. I, I've been hearing your belts, boy. Well, the first few days, I, I just sat you. out in the shop and cried because I couldn't work, and it just frustrating. And mm -hmm. I threw a few wrenches, and then I went fishing with Gregory that that one time, and then just fishing for an hour just wore me out. Yeah. So then yeah. I got mad at fishing and didn't do nothing for until you know yesterday. So, or right. well, I, I guess a few days ago, I we went, and and that's when we started fishing again. Yeah. Now, why is that small water? So, I know. Anyways, I'm gonna nobody. drop back down. Peace, y'all. Be blessed. Have good I'll see church. you later. There's All Giga right. Barely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ain't no quit yeah, nobody. I still have a say. Don't say don't, don't. Since I have a stroke. There you go. There you go. Good morning, Giga Barely. Welcome in. Welcome in. Even if it's a long, whole, a long, hard trip, it's always worth it if you make. No matter how long it takes, don't ever quit. That's why there's a, there's an old mule called Ruth that Festus always has. It's kind of like my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it will forever be there and be there when you need it. It may take you a little while to get there. He's three legged. He got a bad hip, but. That don't mean he don't use his four wheel drive. He uses that leg when he needs to. <laughs> Otherwise, he totes it. But yep, y'all don't ever give up, and don't let somebody else uh, put you under the table and think they're better. Because nobody's better than nobody. Everybody's equal. Everybody has the same love. Uh, the difference is opinions in people. 
and that's on their self. But a lot of people here love each other anyway, so <laughs> that don't matter. <laughs> Well, y'all know what I'm saying. Oh, I don't get off here and uh, eat something before I go to go to work, and I'm uh, greatly thankful that it didn't get bad tonight. And uh, it's 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 not been a, a a terrible night for a lot of places, you know what I mean. But everybody, be with anybody had them storms and tornadoes tonight, and please keep them in your prayers. And there you go. Hey, can go to work and get her done. Mr. Tully, good morning. Morning, Mr. Tully. Well, yeah. Mr. Tully. well God bless y'all on tight lines and we'll see y'all around. Love y'all. Thanks for coming up, Vaz. Yes, sir. I appreciate the the what the 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 the, the hospital the hospital. Oh my goodness. I get it out of there. Hospitality. <laughs> it's like there you go. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> oh, yes, man. God bless y'all. Oh, man. What, what does that say? How to know if you go on What? You cut out on this hog leg. I didn't hear what you said. I, you know, how to know if you're going to heaven? Am I cutting out? Not now, you know. Okay. Oh, it, it will say nope you ain't nobody knows until you get five dozen. welcome in david hughes david hughes i thought my ears were going to fall off from all that talking uh, <laughs> i tell you what yeah. yeah, it's a <clears throat> more people die drowning than any morning or anything else. Ah, no, you know the view. That's a good thing, man. Bloody road, turn around, don't drown. Right. He said that the other morning too. He said, I'm getting paid to sit here and watch. I'm at work. <laughs> yeah. I want your job. <laughs> yeah, we all do. Thursday's going away party will there be cake. If you bring cake, there'll be cake, man. I'll in uh, he didn't say jump out of cake. He said bring cake. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I have to agree with you. Well, it depends on what what kind of pie. I'll bring brownies. Oh yeah, you bring some of the magic brownies. I sent you an email. Oh, I forget. Oh, Listen. yeah. Yeah, I, I still want. I still, oh, I don't think wow. our creeks and rivers can take more, more water. Hey, this is the lineup for Brian B's uh, Brian B's catfishing tournament this Saturday. 
uh, Brian B's going to host, Palmetto Cat's going to host, and two stands is going to host. On Brian B's team, there'll be Danny Stone outdoors, Cool Cats fishing, Trophy Seekers outdoors, Hooks and Hammocks, Northern View outdoors, Tony Harrison, and Dominic Hollis. And on Palmetto Cats, it's going to be fishing with Big Mike, Stand 3, Team My Bad Dude, Parker Pursuits, Catch Fish with Us, Muskrat Adventures, and Pontoon Jody. And over on Two Stands Fishing Channel, it's going to be fish not fishing, not catching. Make it look easy, 202. Fishing for yarns, yams, and Mac Fishing, Gene and Shirley Tillman, and Josh Thompson. There you go. That's going to be over on uh, Brian B's channel, Palmetto Cat's channel, and Two Stands channel. There you go. That's this Saturday. There you go. <clears throat> That's this Saturday. So y'all be sure to tune in to one of those channels, if not all three, and root for your favorite person. There you go. Thank you, Jody. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, muskrat's going to be fun. You go, Mark. If I get my truck back. All right, John. Uh, Mark. Just saying. Yeah, he's going to be fishing. If I get my... Yeah, man, Mark, I, you'll be lucky if you get your truck back uh, Saturday. By Saturday. I mean, I'm talking about that dash. That steering wheel has to come down, and that dash has to come completely off. I'm, man. Good morning, J.G. Hill. Welcome in. Look at there. Mushroom. We're fishing double header. That day, a daytime tournament, and then the Utah tournament. All right. That going to knock two birds out with one stone, Muskrat. Thank you for being doing that tournament. Do what, Eric? Thank you, Matt Uno tournament. Not you, call or whatever he said. Yeah, you know, Roger's phone can't understand what he's saying. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> he, he, he uses speech. Oh, no. Oh, no. If Mark doesn't go and have them motor rebuild kit, since they're already working on it, mechanic may not. Ah. Fish and Fever will have a tournament Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Big day for fishing shore. Yes, it is, J.G. Hill. Yes, it is. Big day. <laughs> yeah, I know. Voice text hates me, too, Muskrat. Robert's got two times today. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, uh that river is going to be on the rise by the weekend. Well, it might be on the downfall by the weekend. Know how much more of these rivers in Ohio can take? Yeah, I was right here. Crazy. I was finally going down the other day when we went across it. Uh, small water charter said we going to Donkey Land today. It's fine. 
a big day for fishing today. <coughs> Good morning, right. y'all. You'll be the water for a big ball in that creek. All right, take it easy, J.G. Hill. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Jeff, Bill, you need to. Oh, yeah. Northern View says uh, the live streaming tournament will be an interesting experience as long as the, this weather calms down. So this is nuts. Yeah, I know what you mean. The last tournament that uh, me and Melissa fished in, Man, the wind was blowing 30 miles an hour. We couldn't do it. Couldn't keep the boat still. Uh, we lost two anchors that day. Wow. As a matter of fact, that's, that's what I get. I still got to get two anchors for my boat. The uh, Hayslip says, what order is you fish, Dan? I don't know. Hey, did you miss? Yeah, it's uh Yeah, it's a uh, where's Curtis at really? We still discussing it, they'll have to see how the waters are looking Friday. Hoover or Buck uh, Lake well, maybe. Oh wow. He he gonna go fish in your water. Eric, you hear me, Eric? What? Northern View is gonna be fishing your water. Who is? Northern View Outdoors. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> he says he's hey, gonna be... be careful. The water is up up there right now. He says he's either... in the boat. Hoover or Buckeye Lake, maybe. Buckeye Lake's only got channel. Some flatheads in. Sorry, it's hard to hear you guys. It's rain pounding down on the windshield. What? What did you just say? I bet it's hard to hear you talking with the wind, rain pounding down on the windshield. <clears throat> yeah, I imagine. What does that say on you? Oh, Lord. Yeah, whatever safe. Yeah. Yep, whatever safest. It ain't it ain't worth no fish is worth uh, a life. That's for sure. And uh I just wish the the previous people who fished on that lake in that tournament and others would have known that. When I when the wind's coming out of the north or the south, it's best not to fish Hoover. That's all I can say. Because it's a north to south lake. Roger can tell you. Roger knows. Roger used to fish that lake.
<laughs> sure, Roger will be back up there once the fits start getting bigger and bigger. There you go. What Dave Funk says all the time about Hoover. That's what Dave Funk says all the time about Hoover, he said. <clears throat> I don't know who Dave Funk is. I'll talk about that. Agreed. The river will be a mess this weekend. Backup plan is Hoover for us on Saturday. I'm going to protest. <laughs> Stand back. Y'all, you and your stuff. Oh, man. How bad the river up. coming up this, this week, Roger? Finger make one. Oh, he's a popper anger on Hoover. Hey, yeah, right, Jeff Bill. River, they're going to be dangerous with all the trees and debris in the water. I don't know exactly what you mean by being here. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Ah, you're crazy. So, Dan. That P was dubbed in. Ah, I've fished with Dave a couple of times. He's a great guy. Dave Funk. You don't like Dave Funk, Eric? I don't know the guy. Uh, Northern Outview says he's fished with uh with him, Dave, a couple of times. He's a great guy. Muskrat says Dave is the man. <laughs> Rustic, you sure are quiet up there tonight or this morning. Yeah, I'm just listening. Read the chat. No, I didn't have decaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Gigability noticed it too. <laughs> Dale Hayslip said one of the best guys you'll ever meet. All right, John. Thanks for coming in, Small Waters Charters. You already missed the hour of power, John. Yeah, y'all be sure to tune in. Y'all be sure to tune in to uh, Muskrat Adventures at 8 p.m. Uh, They're going to have uh, Ray Ferguson over there, I heard. And they're going to be going live on Muskrat's channel and live on Cat, uh, Creole Catfishing Channel at 8 p.m. And also today, be sure to tune in to Real and Virtual Troy over there on his channel. And, and if y'all ain't, please subscribe to him. He's so close to a thousand. Let's get him up there. Uh, he's going to be doing trucking Euro this morning. And look at there. Them two, mm, two bookends. They're doing Panfish Nation. Thursday night, 
So y'all be sure to tune in and watch them. I mean, it's getting harder for me to talk. And look at that. Hump day with a retired Rick. They talk about anything. Okay. And, everything over there. and if you don't, be sure to tune in for live fishing, which keep Jack Cindy. She's going live now about 6.30, I think she is. So y'all be sure to tune in to her. All right. That's all. No boys in this, but we do have buggy <laughs> buggy's board next Friday. We need to get y'all to me say. That's right. That Ray Ferguson, he been on other people's lives on as a guest. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think he has. Oh, uh, he got mad and left. Rusty, you shouldn't get mad and leave like that just because the man's been on other channels. Who are you talking about? <laughs> Oh man. And Rustic asked me did uh did he be, was he on other people's channels and I told him yes and he just said, Oh, I don't know. He left. No, he's <laughs> his uh internet probably went out. Mm -hmm. No, I would no, his internet just went out. Probably, I don't know. Buggy's got a good philosophy on life, folks. Take it easy. Don't Take be in a hurry. Easy. Storm took out his connection. He probably did, yeah. <sighs> oh, Boar fist. <laughs> so boring, even bug falls asleep. <laughs> oh man, yeah, is they've having some bad weather over there that way. So it may have taken his uh, internet out or yeah, power. When lightning, hits, when lightning hits close, it normally messes with your internet. I know that. Welcome back, Rusty. I lost connection. <laughs> we all thought you might have got mad because uh, Ray Ferguson was on other channels. No, I'm just trying to put. <laughs> yeah, boy, man. Oh, man. Maybe more Ray Ferguson, more. he's that guy that's got the record uh, Kentucky uh, Skipjack, is it? Who is that guy? You mean the world skip jack? Something like that. Yeah, his name's Mark. Roger knows him. Uh, no, I just I just know I, that name sounds familiar. I think I've seen him a couple more. Same questions, same answers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roger needs to get his notebook out right now. Some tough questions. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know, I was on my 4G and it all of a sudden lost signal. Wow. Ooh, yeah, why? 420, 24. And I know you sent it, but uh, it was too small. And uh, I think I even had to squint to look at it. Uh, it's not your average DIY fishing rod. That's where you take your non-conventional fishing rod parts and make your own fishing rod. Uh, <clears throat> you can have any reel on it you want, any bait you want, I guess. But when you catch a fish on your DIY 
rod, you can then take your conventional rod and use it. Or you can keep using your DIY rod. It don't matter. But I heard it's going to be more than one just DIY rod. And uh, Lance McCoo guy is taking the place of Beyond the Hook. All right. Yep. Rule states that if you catch fish on your DIY rod, you can introduce a regular rod. If you catch another fish on DIY rod, you can introduce another rod. That's right. April 20th from 9 a.m. Eastern over on Rustic's channel. Rustic Outdoors, it is. Uh, they're going to have a skip deck King or Queen tournament. Eight inches up counts. Bring your own jigs. Yep. And this, and this, right, no, this one. Boy. Yeah, that doesn't happen. No yeah. All right. We, uh... <laughs> oh, man. I am tired. He said, I sent another one. Yeah, but that one was too small, too. Let me Brad, see. Good, good luck. <laughs> yeah, Roger's going to be very tired time he gets done with them two terms. <laughs> Morning, Jello. Why are you thanking me for it, Melissa? I didn't do anything. But that, 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 that's not Welcome. a thumbnail, Jeff. Call me later, Roger. And let me introduce you to our new angler fish not average fishing rod challenge. Lance McCoo guy, the Hawaiian fisherman. He's taking the place of Beyond the Hooks. Beyond the Hooks will be another time. It's another time, yep. <laughs> There you go. And that's breaking news, folks. Yep. As I can, Rusty, because you're there for many folks. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. Ugh, Papa Lou's still hanging in there with us. Says he shines them, then fries them. I don't know. Oh, sun's finally come up. It rained a little bit, not much. Not much for nothing. Oh, man. How long have I been muted? Uh, a couple minutes. Or so. Welcome in, Zello. Catfish dog. Do you? Tim. Oh, man. Chat and get it on. I think that's Florida thing, you know. <laughs> oh, it, yes, it is. It's, it's 8.05. Hoggy, you know John ain't gonna ever gonna give you no slack. No. Praise the King of Tennessee. I don't believe it's been on other live streams. He fishes with Donnie and Lonnie Fountain. Yeah, he said Ray. Ray. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Good morning, everybody. What up, dog? Hey, y'all. It's it's eight oh five. Look, it's time to close the doors. So Rustic, you get over in that corner and pick up them them peanut shells. The bar back needs to get on and get some classes up. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's uh, uh that's, that's Curtis's job now. 
<laughs> yep. That, you know, that's exactly. Who's got the door greeter? Hello, everybody. Welcome in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome in, Guerrero. Uh, but let's. Like I always say, tell the good Lord, thank you for giving you another day because he don't owe you jack. And like Melissa always says, tell somebody you love them today because it'll make you feel better and it'll most definitely make them feel better. And like OKP used to always say, look at this.